Can anybody remember what happened last session? Does anyone want to do a little recap for us? I could do a recap. Uh, we arrived at Calamon. So John remembers the end of the session. Alright. <laughs> so, I remember. Beginning of, la beginning of last <laughs> session. Go we ahead. were mere moments away from dying. dying. Uh, I'm right. Let him cook. We are. All right, Let all right. him cook. Uh, what's your character's name again? Uh, Callie. Oh, Renard. Uh, Renard was tasked by, uh, the lady cap, the mayor, uh, to give Delic, De Delic, a box. Should things have gone to shit? Should things go to shit? You're right. right. Derek? Is it Derek? Yep. Derek. Yep. So, that happened while everyone else was pretty much preparing for the war. Right? Um, Exodus had suggested that they uh, what's the word? Have a backup plan in case things go to shit. But, as the morally good party that everyone is, they decided to fight tooth and bone to the last breath should it come to it. And we decided that the the gnome opult, we decided to go to Thane. If that's correct, DM, Thane? Thon. Thon. Alright. We decided to go to Thon to communicate with him to see if we could use the gnome catapult. And he showed us parachutes. We assumed it was some sort of magic, but it was indeed a form of tinkering resembling our modern technology, almost. Truly, Thon was a pioneer of his time. Um, he was so excited someone believed in him that he helped us no, uh, with no hassle or need to persuade him. Uh, he, we went up the, the tower saw that the they had left the ravine so we catapulted over a uh, renard and exodus we and on my fault for not asking to take a stealth roll we were discovered outrightly and but we killed the two three i think two members of the party before sneaking up onto a encampment in which we found there's an army about right outside the gates or no the army has already marched that's what it was they already started their march and they were on the way to raid the city hmm. so we go back to the city through rope down the cliffside and we warn everyone and in those small few moments of preparation, we, uh, I think, yeah, we're all split amongst the town evacuating people. Uh, before, uh, town was sieged, they broke through the front gate fairly easily. We all met at the docks trying to send people away. And while we fought for the last group of people we could get uh, going, uh, there was a flying one of these creatures. Now we know that they can fly, uh, just to note. And additionally, they have these metal flaming siege weaponry. Uh, that breathes fire. It was hurt. And those came in, and then after all the bad guys were defeated, and most of the party was down on the ground, <laughs> and had to be carried by Derek. Derek. That's where we left off. On our way to whatever that city was called as refugees. <laughs> I want to give you inspiration, not because you've done a good job, but because there were so many inaccuracies in there. What do you mean, inaccuracies? 
<laughs> Names were wrong. Series of events were wrong. Okay, all right. So the box thing ha- I was going to mention this. The box thing happened. Just take the inspiration, well, yeah. Ashway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But as, all the information was there. As well as that, um, <clears throat> so, uh, RJ, you should have your token. It's, uh, I'm going to put it mm. on the screen right now. It's on the screen right now at the very bottom by the little card with your photo. Yep. I see you. Um, you're going to want to give yourself level four. Okay. You take an ASI oh. and a feat or two feats Ooh. and no ASI. Um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There are a list of acceptable feats uh, that are there for this particular part. Um, that you can take there in the campaign rule section. I'm pretty sure I put it somewhere else as well, where we can where we have certain. Yeah, then in the updates you can see a list of them. So, uh, adept of the black robe, adept of the robes you can't take because that's for the sorcerer. The same way the mm -hmm. knights of the crown, those are Renard. Um, so you've got like a few of them there that you can take. Uh, those ones you have to take. After that, if you wish to take another feat, it's any other feat as long as it's not in the band list. Or the ASI. Yeah. So, as for taking the feet along with the ASI, I just simply have to um, I just have to add an additional feet onto the additional feet section. Yes, you would change that to a one, and then you can put in like Warcaster or okay. Mobile. Um, and I swapped one out as well. But you know, uh, for both a me boys here, Exodus and Fane, uh, you used to should also level up to level four. Boralus, you're already level four. Renard, we ain't quite there yet. There. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> I thought we were waiting uh, to work things out. Okay, so... Waiting to work that. things out? What do you mean? Because I wanted to be a warlock with, um, Hexblade. And you said you had to look into it. I did, didn't I? Well, you got me there. Uh, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind being level 3 this session, and like next session we could pick it up. If we go into combat, you don't survive. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm putting it. You're at war, and you think you're going to survive? You're cute. You know what? Um, Do you know what? What's up? We'll use a god. Okay. Because technically, all right, this, this is this is my own little record. Technically, there's no shadow fell because different gods, different pantheons, and the shadow fell was created by Shar. So, mm, so it's going to be an evil god that you have communed with. Um. Fun fact, probably best you don't take the Cassus for obvious reasons. <laughs> the Cassus? Tiamat. The Cassus? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna just call her fucking Tiamat. Yeah, alright. <laughs> the Cassus, I am. Uh, alright, yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into evil gods. Uh, uh, Is uh, it okay if I take either Slasher? Crusher or Gift of the Chromatic Dragon. Slasher, Crusher, Gift of the Chromatic Dragon. I've never heard of either of those. Feats? Never okay, for Crusher. Crusher, um, you're practicing the art of crushing enemies. You gain the following benefits. Increase your strength or constitution modifier by 1 in maximum, up to a maximum of 20. Once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals bludgeoning damage, you can move it 5 feet to an unoccupied space. But the target is no more than one size larger than you. You score a critical hit that deals bludgeoning damage to creature attack rolls against that creature made with advantage until the start of your next turn. Um, for a slasher... I need the fucking subtitles on for you, my guy. <laughs> is that a crusher? I, I, bust, I bust one here today. So, strength by one, or deck con by one, once per turn, hit a creature with an attack bludgeoning. You can also move it five foot. Bye, Meg. Uh, once you score a critical hit and bludgeoning damage... Uh, the next roll has attack, and then slasher 
A slasher, I'm assuming, is going to be basically the same. Um, yeah, it's essentially the same. You reduce its speed by half. Uh, so is that... That one, if you want to take another feat, then yeah. Uh, you can take slasher or crusher. Um, and then you would need, you know, as per the book, you would need to take something like um, alert, divinely favoured. Um, I think I'm giving you his mobile because I'm I'm okay with mobile as long as it's not. Look at that. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with... I'm going with alert because that seems to fit my character. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. And just remember that on a level up, you also get the um, you also get the effects of a long rest before gotcha. we start things off. Right. Okay, can you um? So with level four, we either get an ASI and a feat, or two feats. Correct. Correct. So you can take an ASI and one of the prerequisite feats, or you can take a prerequisite feat and any other feat. What's the prerequisite feat? Um, alert, divinely favored. Um, I think it's mobile. I was Gucci with. Uh, yeah, mobile, and warcaster. I've replaced sentinel with. Uh, something else, and I can't remember what. Sentinel was replaced with something else, and I can't fucking remember for the life of me. I'll find that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Hey. You. I'm gonna check the gas and metal. Yeah. And then go to the shop. Mm -hmm. And do you want anything? Uh, just surprise me. I'll be honest, I was looking for my fucking my cards. Because you're always buying me things, and I can use I'm taking you to Corfu for many things, but not for you getting me a packet of crisps or something. How did you know? Not right, yeah. Can nice. I take her? Just leave her in the car. I'm only going in the toy petrol station shop. So. Okay. Door handle, uh, dumbass. Uh, also, like water or something, please. Oh, yeah, oh, this is warm. Here. But I don't know if I take this hoodie off, I'll get cold. Dichotomy of my life. Uh, I can't remember what the fuck I placed it with, my guy. Because um, that's the standard rules. Those were like... Um, oh, yeah. You can... Instead of Sentinel, you can take Polearm Master. And you do technically have proficiency with... Um, quarter staffs, to my knowledge. Um, It's okay. I'm just going to stick with the lure. I meant, uh, I meant, um, Finn. Jalen. Oh, my bad. I'm gonna start calling you all by your real names now, and it's, like, really, really hard. <laughs> ah, yes. This is... Tyler. Hello. No, you know, no, I am Tyler. And this Hello. one? Who, who's this one? Ah, this one? Having a clue. Let's see. So, uh, as you're leveling up right now, I will say we shall do a full on begin. I'll get us some beautiful music from fucking somewhere, except it's the one thing I forgot to do. Ah, let's see how that works. So. Yeah, I'll turn that down a bit. Let's see. Yous arrived. Small time ago there. And... Calaman. Just outside Calaman. As you were floating in on the dawn, the walled city of Calaman rose in the distance, spreading across the southern shore of the wide bay. Ships sailed to and from the city's walled harbour, their courses lit by a pair of towering beacons. On the shorehead, where the Vingard River meets Calaman Bay, dozens of survivors from Vogler pulled their mismatched boats ashore and began making camp. You just slowly come off of your trip up these sides and you 
Look around. It's not a saint you thought you'd ever have to see. You are displaced in the world. You've never been to Calaman before, but any notion of ever going to Calaman now, you know this isn't the way you wanted it to be. As you look around, multiple villagers seem to be assessing their numbers, reuniting with family members and... Oh my god, what?! Sick. Uh... Women! Not in the living room at the top of the fucking... The where the fucking doors are! Watch me place that. Oh, I'm gonna jump out a window soon, guys. I'm gonna jump out a window. I ain't gonna see Corfu. I'm gonna see the sky. <laughs> As everything is going around, you just look. Youngsters struggling to pull their boats from the land. Two children almost taking advantage of the situation. As you look, you know that this area won't be. Oh, I can't see the map. Yeah, you're you're not here yet. Don't worry, but I'll put you in just because. Okay, good. I'll put you in just okay, because. Just, just make it true. There you go. Gotcha. This area is not well suited for long-term stay. Mm. Pardon me. As you look, you can see based around Boralus, Fane. You recall, on his way here, before he unfortunately passed away on the boat, and therefore also was killed in a little pyre fire thing, Cosmo told you that he watched as Baracus, the elder and younger, both took their own boat. As you look round, he's See that they are not here. They are in fact missing. Welcome. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I spent the days how long did it take us to get here? Two days and you would have spent most of one of them completely unconscious. All our burned, all our burned wounds. Big Barney yeah. wounds. <laughs> yeah, spend whatever other time I had uh, using cure wound spells to try to help people recover from the burn wounds. Yep. <clears throat> so we'll walk around like a charred uh, uh, marshmallow. <laughs> Walking around looking like that one guy from Star Trek. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the red shirt. Apparently Cosmo was. Nobody's all wish to be doing here right now. Once he's just watches. Dad it leaves to join the mirror. Uh, I'd like to see if there's anyone who needs help getting ashore. You look. And. You do see an older man in shallow water with a sprained ankle. You watch as he trying his hardest to pull a boat that's somewhat 20 foot from shore. The boat is being pulled by the river current, he is not strong enough to yank it in on his own. Say shallow water? I'll, I'll go help him out. Go help him pull the boat in, help him 
get to shore. Yeah. Uh, roll a... What's that one I'm thinking of? Uh, Exus, you're really? also rolling GM. You don't need to know because you are awake and alive. Uh, strength check and then a medicine check. Strength check. <laughs> You're gonna start pulling with the old man. Oh, this is gonna be one of those days. <laughs> You're gonna start pulling with the old man. You trying and trying as the boat is slipping away as well. Eventually, a few other people do come to help. The boat seems a lot heavier than it is. Just watch as they all kind of pull it up and tie it through. As yeah, this moor, is gonna be a bad day. As they moor the boat. Yes. Then start tending to the old man's wounds. I'll use. What is it? I'll add those spells for you just now, mate. Uh, Thank you. I'll lay on, lay on hands on his ankle to heal it. Yeah. Um, just burn off as many points as you want. Ah, uh, boom, boom. There we go, Wrath. Oof. I'll be honest, those are some weird ass warlock spells, but. <laughs> They're hexblade spells. Also, I figured out the god, but we can. I'll say that when I do my thing. Yep. Just a DM me it when it's. Remember to give yourself um full health as well. You do get the benefits of a long rest. Alright, thank you. Finn! Yeah. Yeah, uh, leveling up anytime soon, my guy. I hope so. Everything good? Computer running like a snail. Mm. Ah. That's okay, Anyone then. else I see around to help? Um. For the most part. Mm. Yeah. Do also see sitting together a elder couple definitely people who spent all of their life in Vogler they sit huddled close to a fire shivering in cold you can tell that they lament the loss of their town there's no healing of the physical variety that you could ever offer these people. They are stricken with grief, as is everyone else here. For the most part, everyone is getting on with things as they were. Everyone seems fine. You watch as place slowly comes together over an hour, let's see. As it does, the mayor you know, raises her hands and she does catch a glimpse of yourselves, you know, beckons you over. looks upon yourselves there's a slight problem it appears the first people to land here were Baracus and Junior we <laughs> don't know when they arrived but what we do know is they will be in this city. In there... In there they will be... Bargaining for themselves before the people of this town. I must stay here. 
as I do. However, use I once again must implore both for your heroism and for what you did. I give you charge. Head into the city. Find us the means to live. Speak with the nobility. Use our... You just have free reign to argue a better deal for us. Use the letters I gave you, if you still have them. They are... They have my signature, they have my stamp. It's irrefutable that you are working on my behalf. If you show up with this. But... I need you to do what I cannot. I hate to ask. But would you do this for me? I shall go to the others, see if they want to join, join me. Is it even a question? I'm right behind you. Let's head to the city and find who's in charge. Hopefully, I don't do any damage that the Baracus and his boy have done. Just head off down the path. Good. Two. Before we head in. Yep. I was going to pull Derrett aside. Yeah. Derrett, right, Derrett. Derrett. And uh, tell, tell Derrett, tell him Declan before the attack gave me this box and key for you. Uh, oh. Not knowing what has happened to Becklin. Fearing for the worst, he wanted you to have this. I give him the box and the key. Oh, uh, it's rather peculiar. She kind of places the rather large box down as he does. Puts the little key in. And he kind of opens it up. You watch as he's awestruck. As he just kind of looks at it. Well then, uh, see, looks up at yourself. Thank you. Um, I, I guess my training is over. See reaches in and he pulls out a rather well constructed suit plate armor decorated with the embellishments and emboss embossments of the knights of the crown of the knights of Salamnia. So, was well deserved. Ah, uh, put it on when uh, we have somewhere. So we're just gonna put it back up, locks it once more before placing it in a large bag and to Calaman. Do you look? Oh. There's a flurry of emotions that he is trying to fight back. We'll be off then. Thank you. Thinking of reading his read his emotions, I put my hand on his shoulder and say, I worry for her too that she was able to make it out. 
But this is a well-deserved honor that she's given you. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Well, here's hoping. Let's see, makes his way forward, walking down the path towards the side. She's look. Even the mayor herself seems to be just that little bit touched by it. And she nods to you solemnly. Does anyone else wish to do or resolve anything before? Mm -mm. Um, as you pass on through, walking down this long, long landing trek, for two miles you walk on, until eventually, statues of titanic soldiers line Palaman's mighty walls. These ancient stone knights stare into the distance, daring adventurers to dash themselves against the defences that withstood even the cataclysm. A disorganised neighbourhood of tents and ramshackle structures line the city's nearest gate, where soldiers in blue and yellow uniforms seem to be questioning anyone who walks forth. A map Calaman somewhere, just give me a sec. Where in the fuck is my where's my map of Calaman? <laughs> <laughs> Where is my map? Uh Scottish. What's up, Matt? Look at my sheet quickly. What? Oh, do I wanna? <laughs> Look at my speed. Oh, this man's gonna have like a 300 speed. Fuck me! Oh boy. Yo, um, out of curiosity, uh, Renard, did, would you like your warhorse to be an elf? <laughs> what? Would I like my warhorse to be an elf? Particularly yeah. Fiend. You can add you can add thirty to that because of face step. He is faster than your horse. <laughs> Holy mackerel! Damn, can I get that mark of the dragon thing too? Fuck. He's a monk. No. Oh, look. Damn. Can I have you the mobile best. feet? Yeah, I have the mobile feet. That's like mobile and fighter initiate. Speaking of, can you change my unarmed uh, my fist to D eight? I will, yeah. As I'm saying, I'm gonna quickly change. His tootsies are small, delicate, and supple. Perfect for moving soundlessly and swiftly through the streets. Oh, did I just get another speed increase with uh, no nah, mobile? Okay. Yeah. Features. I love how that can change your fists to do temporary healing. Because that's the thing. Uh, let's change that. 1d20 plus 3, and then... Okay, right, that's saved. So. That's saved. Oh. That's quick. Thank you. I feel you're insinuating something here. I don't know what, but I feel you're insinuating something. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Uh, I just went to the garage. I'm oh. getting gas and ready. Okay. So. Good dog. I take her away or I'll never play. I just want to cuddle the dog. They had big bottles, but they weren't cold. And they were also at 279. They were like 50 odd P and buy one get one free. 
I like those. I like those words. The crisps were like one twenty-five each. Well, one, okay. two for one twenty-five. Thank you. We aim in. Anyway, <laughs> as you approach, uh, firstly, can everyone see the map? Yes. Check for you. Yeah, I can see it. Right. Ooh. I need to do one final change because I've only just realised grid scale. There we go. Moving will be fun. <laughs> You just arrive at the gates. The guards with two rather large halberds seem to cross them over. As they do, they look at you. He's elder one, so longish beard and clearly spends most of his days standing there. So, um... What's your business in Calaman today? I step forward. We're here as emissaries of Dave and the mayor of Vogler. Seek refuge for the citizens of Vogler who fled their village after being attacked. Who do we speak to about gaining such? Mission. You look as they look at each other, and as they do, he watches, points into the city. As he does, in the middle of the city, the tallest structure, almost sitting atop a mountain, is a large castle. You would need to speak with the council they'll be in the castle you're not the only ones who have come by so yes i'm sure they'll be eagerly awaiting with bells on for literally anyone else do no harm cause no trouble and we should be fine. Do you watch as they move in forward and as he raises his hand, you watch as the gate starts to clink, 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 clink and pull open. Just not all the way, it towers over a hundred odd foot, but opens with plenty of room for you to walk on through. Well, to the castle. The castle. <clears throat> As you once more walk through, the town is a bustle. It is lively. It is, by all means, and through no exaggeration. A town that is very much ignorantly blessed, if not completely ignoring all of its problems. And as you walk on up to the castle, moving on through, I remember I used to have a thing that let me drag all your tokens out in one clean sweep, and now it's like, nah, that ain't a thing we can do. Do not worry, Macaroon. No, I'm not talking for you this time, but do not worry. As you pass, even if the imposing castle Calaman didn't sit atop hundred foot cliffs, it would tower still over every building and every statue in this city. As the path rises up the cliffside, overlooked by the giant statues matching those that line the city walls. You watch as 
some parts of the city almost seem to vanish under a thin cloud. As you do at the end of the path, a guard stands at a gate. These men, you can tell, are castle guard, not city guard. And as you walk on up, he closed heavy iron gates. The hmm. guard looks at you. And your business is. Hoping the map has changed over for this. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, uh, um. Yes. The back. We were to. We were to go and talk to someone about Walker being attacked. Correct. I'm. I speak my. Party members. Oh. Tell the guard. We're here as emissaries of the mayor of Vogler. Beseech council to grant refuge to those citizens who fled Vogler after being attacked two days ago. Hmm. Very well. Follow me. Watch the guard walks in as he does, he looks up and whistles. I can't whistle really loud. He does. He watches the guard looks down as he rolls his hand as the gate starts to open inwards. As it does, you see this thin layer, almost a funnel. As this castle's almost last line of defence. As he walks in, you can see the little corridor is well lit. And every so often, as you peek through, you do see what appears to be the sort of interior guardsmen working on things. There's large ballista. Sorry. Is it? This large ballista seem to be worked and also pointing in your direction for most times. Exodus, you good there, my guy? There was something wrong. You're not moving. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. <laughs> That's right. The guard standing at the end of the corridor, kind of. Looks, yes, you're, um, you're not the first to arrive here today to seek refuge. And as you walk in across the paved courtyard, you see a familiar figure with an arrogant smile. Gross. As he does, he walks through. My father has matters in hands. We'll be sure to send for you and the rest of you fish folk once we've determined this what's best for you. As you watch, as he looks at the guard. Don't, don't let them in. We're here. We're from the town. We have their best interest at heart. Just send them back along. Do you have one of these? And he would pull out the letter from the mayor. I'm just curious. Mayor's signature for us to do business on their part. I'm just... Do you... Or is your position as nobility less than what you claim? Here. Oh, we, we are no... Uh, walk right up to him. We are no... Go ahead. Yep. I walk right up to him. Get right in his face. Speaking to the guard, dead. These men have no voice 
for the citizens of Volker. They speak only for themselves. As my friend has shown you the letter from the mayor, we are her true emissaries. These two are imposters. Do not deserve council's audience. And I look at the boy again and say, Go away. As he watches, your voices echo throughout the courtyard. As they do. Watches from some of the battlements. You see some helmets every now and then trying to be as stealthy as possible, but failing. As the guard takes your letter and looks at it. Kind of looks at the boy. The letter's official. Whether you have the word, whether you have nobility or not, the letter comes from the person who runs the town. Therefore, both parties are permitted in such times. As he passes the letter back to yourself in. He watches Baracus skills. As he goes to place his hand down into guard looks. Careful. Think where you are, boy. Think very carefully where you are. Place my hand on the hilt of my sword. See. Once more. And it claps his hands. You're going to hear the. She watches numerous guards now take to the battlements, looking over. He watches Baracus skulks away, and he does. He does give you a leering eye. Spits on the ground. Well, anyway. Um, yep. One day I'll deal with that boy. I'm just ask why Are everybody's can I ask why everybody's rolling privately still, by the way. <laughs> it's what it, what what it was is that <laughs> so, we all had to make death saves last session and those are rolled privately and we forgot to switch them over. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to roll privately to begin with. I'm just trying to intimidate the little crapper. I'll switch it. I'm sorry. I'm, everyone's on private. Let's get on here. <laughs> he watches the guard moves on forward. As he does, he opens the gate, the door into the building. If you all wish to move forward now, uh, actually to here, and it should just teleport you into the next map. Yay! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I see blackness. I do see blackness. Is it imprisoning you? Nope. Oh, it's wait. loading now. Something's happening. Whilst yous are in the map, like when I'm not in the map and it's not an active scene, yous will see darkness. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Still pretty cool. Just enter into this large foyer. It's a rather nice, well kept area. It's some armor around as the guard opens the door. <laughs> Please come this way. Fane just does the white glove test on one of the armor stands. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, <man>. <clears throat> I'd say a day or two ago, your. Oh, let's say emissary came through here as they did it was a rather sordid affair <clears throat> I must warn you 
they are in the middle of a meeting right now. So sure. be careful. Things said here could be dicey. Let's see places his hand on the door and opens the door. Is he going to walk in? A apologies. Um, there are more from Vogler. But they have documentation. Ew, he's so ugly. Let's use walk in. Ah. It. That is ugly. Eight serious looking people sit around a board. A broad table in the middle of a spacious hall. At the table's end, a tall man with plated blonde hair and a velvet velvet vest of blue and gold stands to greet you. Welcome guests. I am Governor Kalof Mayat. That is this man here. We will say he has exhaustion one. <laughs> Your leader has briefed us on the situation. His bold defense and eagerness to strike back against these invaders. As he says this and nods to the man next to him. He's going to... Across the table. Fane's going to put one leg over the other and he says, uh, is that what he told you? Across the table, you see. Yes, man. <laughs> As he looks... And glares at yourselves. Oh, Tell us, Governor, are your people prepared for battle? Yes, uh, however, we'd rather avoid fighting. Anyway, where are my manners? First and foremost, for everyone else, uh, once again, I am Governor Miat, and in here, as part of the governing body of Calaman. Watch as the guard kind of nods and closes the door. We... We are here. I introduce... Yep. I introduce myself. I'm Renard of Eldor, Knight of Salamnia. My friends Fane. Exodus. And who else is here? Shit. Baralus. Baralus. Your emissaries. Mayor of Vogler, Raven. Hmm. I don't know what this man to my right has told you, but he has no official business. There's no capa official capacity for speaking for the people of Vogler or the mayor. <clears throat> we have been charged by the mayor himself to seek refuge. The people who fled their village that was attacked and destroyed two days ago. I can assure you that they are not seeking to fight again so soon. You watch his... Oh, Baracus. As you're saying this, his face frowning and looking as the governor looks. It's clear from what you've been saying, he is listening intently. And as he is, Lord Baracus is getting more and more pissed by the second that the governor is even entertaining the words from your mouth. That's why I'm sitting next to him. I'm going to backhand him here in a second. <laughs> so the governor looks at you. Yes, well, we here are not a... Ah, uh, we're not a kingdom rule, if that makes sense. We we're are, not. we are a collective that leads together, voting on everything. As it should be. Neither was a uh, Vogler. He's just a uh, nobility in title, able to give suggestions to the mayor. But to my knowledge here, that the Lord is going to look at yourself, Bernard. The Lord here is also a a knight 
such as yourself. I pulled out a second Renard, but I meant to pull out someone else. Yep. It's, uh, <laughs> it's also told us, and we have proof that his family are or were knights. So, yes, it's, you can see why your reputation's tarnished. However, I understand. And as you have stated, you feel it foolish to take back Vogler. Whilst Lord Baracus is rather quite eager to take back the town. I feel I should ask. Cool. I'm just gonna looks at this sort of younger female standing in the back. A kinder of all things. See, so looks at yourself. Macaroon. What's your eh? you? You are. Oh, I'm in the room. Poised in military. Would you take back the town, knowing all the information we have been told about dragon like creatures and the town being raised, or would you bide your time? It would be a calculated risk to move forward with such a hefty ask of aid. However, it would also be draining on our resources to wait any further, any longer than ultimately necessary if we have the forces to do something about it now. Either way, this is a chance where we are forced to show brothership, sorry, brotherhood and kinship to our allied and nearby cities and towns. So, seeing as we had already accepted them, it's just a matter of what you want to sacrifice first. The city's resources, or the city's manpower. And how soon you want to do your respective choice. Hmm. I understand what you're saying in regards to this. And I feel we should firstly gain information on this new foe. I've never heard of such creatures, and if their power is unmatched, unbridled, and unknown, whilst, yes, it may be draining on our forces and on our lands, it may also be a death sentence to go in blind. Unfortunately for Vogler, you <laughs> were taken by surprise. Whilst word of wars and creatures had came around, no one's really met any survivors. Given now, you are here at our doorstep asking for this help. And given us all the information, embellished or not, we have more information than most towns. No. I feel... No. Yeah? Negative. Nothing. So, what I've been told, firstly, is... The town of Vogler was peaceful, correct? Correct. And all was right in the world. And then, out of nowhere, the town was just attacked with no warning. Nobody knew what was going on? Oh. Mm, no. Uh, I turned to Renard. I believe... The town had a uh, a good amount of warning, correct? Mm. It was this fellow here who decided to talk to them. 
Oh. To try to negotiate. Negotiations fell through. Um, I believe... Not to contradict, but I believe that the army, the Red Dragon Army, as they called themselves, mm -hmm. appeared outside of Vogler with a little warning just days before. While we were, after we had discovered them and were determining how to handle it, an emissary from the army came and stated that the village was going to be occupied. Um, sorry, there's a miscommunication. I thought that, uh, this is outside of character. I thought that, um, that our nobility here knew well in advance that they were outside of Vogler and wanted to communicate with them prior to them showing up on our doorstep. And we just came in in time for them to attack us. Uh, like, the that. army wasn't there overnight. I don't remember that part, but I could be wrong. I write... I write stuff down every time I get the chance, and I figure that that was important. Am I incorrect, uh, Scottish? What did you say, my guy? That the army was there well in advance, and our nobility here knew about it? He didn't know they were there, no, but they were there in advance. Nobody knew the army was there. But... Weeks in advance? You could say weeks in advance given their prep time, however at the same time massive army that could have been days, but they were there and nobody knew about them. Mm -hmm. So you Let's have see. right. I, I just... I walked into this room and I, I don't like the lies that were being skewed out of his mouth. He, he was like, didn't he say he bravely fought back until they had and helped evacuate? But he didn't fight back at all, and he was like the first to evacuate in his own boat with no Wait, help. did he say that? Yes! Whenever we walked into the room, he was like, we bravely fought back, and we evacuated. I helped evacuate, but he just rolled off in a boat with his son. Oh, yeah, um... Exodus would actually speak up about that. He's so fucking angry. He he would say he's, he's aggravating. He was like, "How did you?" Uh, the guy's name is Baralis, right? Baralis. I, yes. I saw him rolling off, and his son was laughing at us. Bacaris, Baracus, Bacaris, 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 Bacaris. How did you get here so quickly? Uh, I didn't see you during the escort. And Ben, you were about to say something? I just said I don't have a son. Oh, I've mixed up the names. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, I, is, uh, I said Baralis when we were thinking guy. of Bacaris because the names are so similar. <laughs> he... Like, he, he, he sat here and told this man how bravely he fought and tried to protect him. Vogler, and I don't appreciate that. So you watch. As when you ask this question, he kind of looks at you. Oh, that's very simple, actually. I've been training my son, and once we got everyone out and got on a boat, his weak, meek looking figure. Is deceptive. The boy is as strong as ten men. She watches. The governor looks at yourself, Bernard. And he does, he brings his head down, drops one eyebrow. Gives you a, gives you a face of just sheer fucking doubt. Yes, well, apparently your mayor did nothing? 
Is that what he told you? Who said that? Is that what this man has told you that she did nothing? He sat here and lied to him this entire time. Um, Scotty said he has exhaustion. <laughs> That's just so I know who he is because it just says, "Ah, oh, this person is a noble. Use a noble stat block. Use a noble stat block." I'm just watching all this. I don't know what's going on. It is safe to say that this man has sat here and lied to him for hours, days even. Oh, so yeah. you. No, the, ma the mayor took a very active part in the evacuation. She was actually the last to evacuate. She was the last on the boats. Hmm. Nearly risking an arrow in, a back in her back or herself up. She evacuated as many people as she could. But a lot of life was lost in the water. And... The army was aided by mercenaries who were camped in the town? I think that is correct. No, I don't think there were any mercenaries camped in town. I think the army was assisted by mercenaries, though. Wait a second, he's talking about us! Oh, is he? He's fucking talking about- he thinks that we're- <laughs> is he talking the motherfucker? About him? <laughs> He's not no, but the fact that you came to that conclusion of all things. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Cudgel sports were, were technically mercenaries. Oh, they were. Yeah. They were uh, guards. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we did have mercenaries, but they were on the side of the people of Volkler. So the, they started their attack first the night before. That's the. The battle reenactment. Don't lie to this man. You think he can't see through you? Z. Once you more. paper thin, my guy. So he just once more kind of looks at you and. That is poor governor. Technically, while that is true, those members of the mercenary band were bribed and bought off by the Red Dragon Army to conduct such an attack. They were not under the command of Cudgel Iron Ironside, Iron Smile, Iron Whatever. They had betrayed their duties to the people that of is, when they did that, that when they did that, that attack. That is correct. Mercenaries are only as uh, loyal as their pay. I can assure you that the the remainder of the mercenary band. Comported themselves honorably in the defense of Volgler. Many of them died. It's the Red Dragon Army. Do you want to see? Huh? Governor Farrells is brown. Dire news. My heart goes out to you and your friends, your mayors, and I understand. And I hope you can understand. Uh, reticence here we understand you have your people at her gates these aren't normal times marshall as you watch as he looks to the woman down to her left the woman wearing armor embellished with blue and gold colors of calaman i am marshall vendry Commander of Kalaman's army forces, and I'm afraid your situation is far from unique. You're not the only community and region who will face peril. Small villages and farms to the south and the east of Kalaman have also been burnt down in recent weeks, but we've only ever found the remains and never any people. Vogler, being the largest of these communities to be attacked recently, is the only one with survivors, probably because of its size. It's now more of a fear tactic and spread the word by the looks of it. Our soldiers are being cut down in some cases with mysterious claw marks and gashes, bites and all manner of mutilations that 
are akin to that of wild animals. Mm. It's unfortunate to for... say. Yes. Oh, go right. No, you first, by all means. Well, she wasn't done. Just, forgive me for interrupting and forgive my compatriots if I speak for them. But in exchange for the refuge and assistance you provide for the people of Vogler, I pledge myself to assist you in whatever way I possible to look into these matters outside the walls and try to ascertain the nature of the enemy that faces us more clearly. See what is she walks up between yourself and Baracus and places a hand on both of your shoulders. Unfortunately, both of you combined, even with what misinformation there may be, you have both given the clearest and most vivid picture of what we face and what is to come. We know nothing of this army, and really we only ever seem to fight things in Eastwild. We've heard the rumours, but it's been nothing more than a far off nation struggles. I am always eager to know what you know of these enemies. And if you have any proof of them. I will ask. Yep. Sorry. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, we were able to get any proof, physical proof, other than the injuries that we, four of us, have sustained <laughs> in fighting against these creatures, this army. But I would be more than happy to, again, attempt to get that for you. Sure, the blade. Uh, perhaps even prisoner to be interrogated. Sorry, I didn't quite catch what you got in the end. I was trying to make heads or tails, but um, X just jumped in about the same with the blade as well, and that just that took my mind elsewhere. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, th I, I heard the like the slight like two second pause in the like sentences. I was like, there, there's my chance. Yep, go ahead. No, no, he wants you to repeat what you said at the end. I said we would be more than happy to get perhaps a prisoner to be interrogated from this army or some more physical proof of what is what the creatures. Or this army is made up of. I'm doing a lot of talking and I apologize to Fane and the others. No, no, honestly, I was going to talk during that meeting, but I, I forgot the name of the town we were just in. Calamon? Or Volkler? Volkler. I forgot the name of Volkler. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> um, but I just would say that, and he's like, didn't you recover that sword? Oh, I do. I, I'm carrying it now. I lay it on the table. I look. Hmm. Throw the sword out and lay it on the table. As I've, I have taken this sword from one of their members of that part of the Red Dragon Army. It's just a long sword. I have one well, myself. She's going to draw her own. More than just a long sword, it is enchanted in some way. It deals damage of a fire nature. The mages of high sorcery can enchant any weapon to do anything. Does it happen to have any uh, emblems of uh, Tachesis on it, or just their armor did? Just Out, the, this is outside of Just their armor. Okay. Uh, the weapons okay. for the old parts look fairly normal. Probably to give you that little bit of, you know, uh, it's just a long sword, followed by, ooh, okay. it's a spacey long sword. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go and provide, we'll go get you proof of the, of what we speak. Well, 
until then, until we have uh, discussions, I would ask you to leave as the door opens once more. I would also ask that in this time, Bryn accompany them. Hands her hand over towards the young female Kender at the opposite end of the room. Be nice for you to have some local people with you. For everyone else, Britain. We will. We will come for you once you we have a decision. Kinder? Kinder. Okay. Someone wanted to play Kinder, I was not going to stop him. Alright, that'll be interesting. It's not the Kinder that you remember that fucking steal everything, though. <laughs> oh, well, it won't be so interesting, but still. <laughs> they get rid of that trait. <laughs> The one whose, yeah, possessions are fluid. <laughs> I'll be Over right back. Should we I'm wait out? No, uh, I'm not a pickpocket, I'm an instigator. Oh, uh, okay. Should we wait outside in the... You're free to wait outside in the castle, outside in the courtyard, or in the city. We will send for someone in due course. Well, hello there, Brian. And I have a thing for RG as well. I think I may have sent you it prior, but I'll check to be safe. Yeah, I did. I sent you the full thing prior uh, on the 14th, yeah, just in case. <coughs> Excuse me. I have it pulled up. She watches the Room falls silent. It's um, any day now. Oh, we're moving. We're here with Derek. Yeah, with our, with our main man, Derek. Exodus? I will just move Exodus. She's doing the door is closed. Huh? You see as outside Dara is waiting. Hello. So, um how'd it go? Well they're deliberating now. Cars, the elder, seem to be serpent in the maze. some interesting, interesting facts, alternate facts, as uh, as uh, some uh, some may put it. Uh, I would call them lies. Typical of his family, really. Well, we. We'll just have to wait. I trust you've got everything out in one go. No, we did the best we could. Now we have to find um of these uh beasts. Is Bren? Yes, uh, Bren, if you would like to introduce yourself to the rest of the party. I think I'm he said Gran. He said what? If you'd like to introduce huh? yourself to the rest of the party, my guy. No, I'm, I'm asking, uh, I'm asking, um, Jalen what he said, Fane. I, uh, was talking to Renard, and I said I think they said they na their name was Bren. Their <laughs> name is, okay. Bryn stands, you know, I guess, in the position she is now, it's a good way to address you all. 
turns to each of you and, you know, nods a bit and, sh uh, and introduces herself as Bryn Merrill. Um, she is a, well, more or less a petty but not so petty soldier um, in this current, uh, sorry, excuse me, in Calamon, is it Calamon? Yep. In Calamon's military, and particularly, she is um, um, not not usually stationed any set place, but um, due to certain, uh, I guess, um, attributes of her style, um, she is um, at the moment being, uh, well, I guess, guarding these fat rich people, these diplomats. Um, during their uh, deliberation with and without you, because, well, frankly, the town don't really like y'all that much, and they <laughs> and they like you even less. But the town mainly does not think kindly of you because of um, what's being put out there and the decisions. I don't know what transpired back where you guys came from, but I've, nevertheless, we've decided to take you guys in. And it's my duty to, I guess, watch over you guys now, which should be pretty fun, mm -hmm. considering, you know, how testy things got back there. I think I'm going to be in for some pretty interesting things if I stick around. But feel free to ask me um, anything you might need to know about getting certain places in the city. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Not the Kendra that you remember. <laughs> no, not exactly. <laughs> not nearly. The classic like grandpa was Kendra. Just, just a soldier? You said what? What's the class again? Just a soldier fighter? Oh, my class is Paladin. 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 Too many oh. cooks in the kitchen. Hey, well, for me, this is going to be real fun. Technically, I may not have said it first by a few seconds, but I did think of it Paladin, Paladin first when I thought of classes. Oh, I... what? I oh, sorry. Paladin, sort of Paladin like... first as in first as in decisions, not Paladin as in I thought of it first. That's, that's oh. weird. No. But he's also know me, and I will happily. I, I would run a party of six paladins because I think it'd be the funniest shit ever. Watching each and every one of you break your oath. They're all like I just wanted eight. to play a paladin, and I didn't have a new campaign to start with besides this one. So, hmm. Yeah. So you're a monk again. Hmm. <laughs> so. Do you wish to do anything in the time? Um, we'll say there is a free perception check up for grabs to hear what's going on in the room, if anyone is interested. The guards, I will do that, sir. The guards have absolutely no interest in what you are doing at this point. So, As you listen in upon the door, you hear the talking of the group. Quite an awful lot of it is murmured. Occasionally you hear the marshal chime in before your rather boisterous voice seems to almost cut her off. This happens quite a few times until once more as it cuts in once more. As the boisterous voice interjects, you hear a loud bang. Followed by, you're just in here as a fucking courtesy. No one cares what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pain's laughing, by the way. Slight grin on my face in the corner. After that, the female voice talks almost solely and uninterrupted unless someone else not the boisterous voice has something more to interject however it's usually something a bit more helpful 
So, Fane's just on the ground right now, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. There's an hour to do. Um, your choice, whether you just wait in this hallway for an hour or do something else. I'm going to explore the town. Huh. All right. Because we could. I, ex I don't know what the rest of uh, everyone is doing, but I asked Bryn if she feels like being my guide. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> it's a great question. <laughs> or rather, what do you want to go look for? I think I need a drink. A drink? Well, let me think. Is this the? Are these the stairs out? No, no, no. Oh, they are, they're still down into peasants' quarters. Mm. Peasant. I know, X. Hmm? Nothing. Mm. Oh, I was gonna say, I know an excellent tavern. You know, soldiers like myself usually uh, frequent it very often. Um. Lots of uh, fish on the menu, if you like that, as this is a coastal city. But, the, you know, the beer's good, and the energy's nice. So if you'd like, I'll show you all there. Okay. I think that'll be great, and Fane's gonna step past. Alright, and uh, Scottish, I would like to take them all to the Steady Beacon. As you do. So, as you tell the guard where we're going so they can find us. You said what? They will tell the guard where we're going so we, they can find us when they have deliberated and had a made a decision. Yeah, I would say easy enough. There's guard stationed outside the room that you guys are talking in, so you would be they would be well aware. And we'll see if you pass. That's just the beauty of announcing where you're going. As <laughs> so you pass on through down the corridor, back outside, you once more see young Baracus sitting by the wall, just waiting, trying not to look bored and look important. An overinflated ego will do that to some. So you just walk on out, down through the town. I'm going to find where it is. That's the. That's that's. I'm not going to say that because that's that's going to be bad. Steady beacon. So you just head on down the street, down through the market, wrapping almost in a clockwise fashion through the city. Me. Time does deliberate and pass. So it does, you know, everything is quiet. The town gleeful is eventually arrived at the steady beacon. You rather. Small place. <laughs> Took me a moment. Who is it, this behind us? A random, rather than having an empty map, that's just a random town. You put nobles, you put nobles, you put commoners, you put spies, and you put thugs, and you call them mm. everything else. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down, take a seat. So you do, the tavern boasts a large tap room, a fish focus menu, and very modest lodgings. The mm. decor features broken weapons of defeated bandits, and the tavern is very much a favourite to the soldiers of Calaman. Most evenings they are all off duty, as it does the barkeep who they said is a veteran, so that's fun. <laughs> Moves on forward. 
you want to see. Why does the food? Why does the food actually look good? <laughs> if you zoom in, it's like a plate. My guy like... over here has a bowl of ramen. <laughs> Is he? No. Nah, there's like three pints near a, a good looking plate. Looks like fish, something green, some potatoes. The barkeeper walks up. Good morning, evening, after this. I'm gonna look at Good afternoon. How can I help? <laughs> Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, how much is a drink here? Uh, it's about two copper for the cheap swell and a silver for the good stuff. And how many... Yeah. How many people do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. I'll, uh, I'll fork over five uh, copper. Get everybody a drink of the good stuff. Uh, it'd be five silver. Did I say copper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's silver. Let me go ahead and change my SP to zero. Because I don't want that in my inventory. Ew. You're so lucky that I've got the other book. Else, I'd be like, I have Electrum. They don't do Electrum in here. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love giving people Electrum because... Well, everybody hates it. <laughs> Yeah, as you get the drinks from this man, he gonna passes out five tankards of nice amber-looking drink. As he does, mm. so mead, is that mead? Potentially, it's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Well, that's all. No, 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 I think about it. He's referring to, uh, Exodus and Renard. I've never seen you two drink. I don't drink much. <laughs> Alcohol wise, I'll drink wine or mead. Well, after a hard fight, enjoy, friend. Thank you. Yes, I was drinking at the Brass Crab as well, and he would just, like, remove his mask casually and drink whatever drink was given to him. I'm going to take a few gulps of whatever they gave me. It's cold and refreshing, which makes a... Makes a change. As the barman kind of looks at you. So, uh. You just started working with the, um, the city guard. He's rather new here. Is he talking about us? Yes. He says, <laughs> no. No, we're from out of town. Ah. Well, we do hope you enjoy your time here. So, uh, no, I use more places. And the. Well, the travel is quite good. The local fish, a delicacy. Best import in the city. Best exports, rather. Imports is things coming in. That they are. Roughly quiet. That's <laughs> <laughs> just apologies, I one you... too many knocks on the head. If it makes you mm. feel any better, I thought you said best in port, as in in the port of the city. You're telling me I could have got away with being smart? <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, if you're here visiting, do you have any plans for the evening rest drink that's pretty much it tomorrow however possibly finding evidence of how do I put this 
dragon people? And he turns to Ex Exodus with a inquisitive look. He's going to say, uh, my friend here <laughs> is saying is that he is a, um, what's the word? He's one of those people who go into nature and write books about mystical and fantastical creatures. It's not right, because, uh, oh, Seely, weren't we not supposed to tell anyone about this? I don't think it was a secret. I thought it was a secret that we were, like, the dragon people were at, like, war. Let's not start a panic before we yeah. know more about what's going on. Yeah. Barman kind of leans in, places an elbow on the table. You told me you were visiting, and now you're looking for evidence. Uh, no, Someone this is... Someone can't get a story straight. There's a story here somewhere. And you know what they say about stories, right? Do you watch as he starts pouring more drinks? <laughs> as he turns around. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get us drunk. Loose lips sink hips. This one's on the house. I don't mind free alcohol. So, go on, tell yeah. me more, please. I won't tell. Scout's on her. You said Scout's honor. Where are his badges? I want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Can't just use Scout's honor without being a Scout. You have no Scout's honor. I do it all the time and get away with it. He's gonna. Fane's gonna down this pike. Pike. I'm very good friends with Marshal Vendry. You know her, surely. After all, you did come in with one of her military folk. You know, points towards Bryn. Hey. Go on, what's the story? I'm sure it'll get around to you eventually. Is it because you don't know my name? Is that it? Well, my name's Jensen. We're friends now, right? Come on. It's deathly boring here. Come on. I'll even discount a stay here for you. Discounted rooms. We got. Oh, Oh, in the back. Uh, let me just go on. Can I make a history check just to make sure we were supposed to keep our lips sealed or not? Uh huh. Make a history check after the alcohol. Uh, uh, he hasn't told me to roll con. <laughs> no, that was in that was in Vogler. You were told to keep your lips sealed. Is it okay? Vogler, that town that no longer exists. Ah. Uh, in Vogler, bef to not tell the people of Vogler that pe that dragons are attacking. To not tell the people of Vogler that there were dra their army that were of draconians were outside because it could cause panic. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's up to these people here, but if he keeps the drinks flowing, I won't mind. I would like to ask the bar, um, tender, bar yep. keep, I don't care. I'm, uh, I'm asking him for, mm, capture the day meal. Ooh. We have a lovely, divine, yellow snapper with a nice bed of roasted mash, a beautiful little fish sauce to go with it. I would highly recommend that. I'll take that if you please. Sir. Five silver there, friend. 
Do you want to see? Moves his hand to the woman sitting by the bar at the other end. She does, you know, walks up to the door. Yeah. So five silver. Five silver. All right. So Snap a meal has... of the day. Thank you. Nods. Ten minutes, give or take. So, you're all terribly quiet. I'm waiting to see what they get up to. Why the fuck has ad blocker just jumped up? <laughs> Take a clam chowder. You have that? Should be able to get that, <clears throat> yes. Zane's just gonna chew on some hard tech. So, uh, three silver for that. Clams, not very popular. Yeah. No, it's the woman. And once more opens the door. Clam chowder! <laughs> Clam chowder. <laughs> Austin clam chowder, apparently. <laughs> I've never been to Boston. <laughs> I just know uh, they're shipping me up there. That Greek boy pussy got me questioning my lord. <laughs> <laughs> He's six. Eventually, about ten minutes or so passes, and the food does come. Piping hot smells. Just like the ocean, as all good fresh fish should. As you look, it is well presented. The area of town you are in, which technically you could class almost like a suburb, the food is quite high end in terms of its looks. In terms of its price, however, it's almost quite budget. But, it's nice, it's smelling it's hearty, it's a little salty in some places, but you can forgive it, because it is cooked perfectly. Hmm. In the time that you are here. The compliments for the cook. Shows up. Compliments. The woman nods, opens the door. Your eyes are beautiful. Closes the door. Oh. So, do we, uh. Do we require bedding for the night or. Do we have somewhere well, else? Well, uh, take a room. Why not? Uh, yeah. Looks. None for me, thank you. No, thank you. Well, then I think, yeah, I can't sit here. Are the, uh... Are the rooms one bed to one? This single bed, yes. Okay, perfect. Morales? Question? Mark? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here with my friend. It's my chance. Then, I will see. As you use. Look, he is. You know, kind of prepping the room. In that regard, you know, writes down some detail. I'll be sure to keep a hold of it for now. We have a little bit of spring cleaning to do. Let's use lesser notes. You hear the marching of feet. As you look out the window, you do see about four guards coming in. So they do the 
door opens in their full regal uniform. We're mm. here for the emissaries from Vogler. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Yes. We'll check a rain check on that room. Oh, you told me you were just visiting emissaries? Come on. Gonna, this is a little disappointing. Um, they're just gonna, they're just gonna finish that pipe. I'm sure we'll talk later. And he's gonna go to this, the door. It says, "It says the guards do take you straight to the castle." Through the streets, and don't worry, there's nowhere to teleport the tokens. Your tokens are still technically where they were back in the castle. As you are taken mm -hmm. to the castle, the guards and such all seem to look at you differently now rather than blank. They all nod and look. These are brought to the small foyer and the door once more opens. Mm. See, Marshall looks. Come in, please. We'll take a seat again. Oh, should I got to move? It's your leg. Many people in this room are flustered. There has been arguments back and forth in this room. You know what some of them were about. However, others? God knows. As you all take your seats and use watches, most of the council members watch you walk in. Governor and Miat are seated as everyone else seems to one by one just kind of nod and leave. Uh, he's still here. Any... Subway wraps, man, that sounds fucking delicious, mate. <laughs> I'm a craving one. I don't know what Macaroon's watching. Consider <laughs> <laughs> sticking it in. I'm gonna just meet RJ. There we go. Didn't do it either. <laughs> so, hey, uh, any decisive tone, this room, first of all, set by mood, is. A finalized mood. Easy governor looks. The citizens of Cal the citizens of Calaman are offered are prepared to offer you people shelter in the neighborhood outside of the city walls. The protection just... of our soldiers, that which we can spare whilst we can spare them, and the food from our tables. Did he just did he just say you people? Your people. <laughs> You people. No. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? Uh. Calaman are willing to offer the people of Vogler, your people, the people you came with, the people you've come to barter with. No, I don't, I don't mean. I didn't mean that. I wouldn't exactly <laughs> call this bartering, but. However, there are conditions. Yes. Here's where it becomes bargaining. We are concerned about the threat posed by the enemy that attacked the town. We have woeful little information about this foe and our scouts that we send to learn more disappear. Mm. Yous have both 
faced this foe and saved a village from its attack. Therefore, you are the most qualified to deal with this threat. In return for Kalaman protecting the people of Vogler, Kalaman's leaders want you to report to Marshal Vendry as special operations forces. You sure. are to work for the city of Kalaman under the guise Great. of our military and in turn the people of Vogler will remain safe. In the event yes. that you die, they will still remain safe. <laughs> Take some time Seems to how I was with my Seems how I had already pledged my assistance, I gladly take on this assignment. I look at um Exodus because we travel together. And I'm going to nod my head. Are we are we doing this? He's not here. Great. Do you Oh Seely, um what was the name of the guy we went to the funeral for? Espen Greenshield. Espen Greenshield. And he he would look to him and he would say for Aspen. For Aspen? I'm going to cry. Your friend there at the top of the table has been awfully quiet. Oh no, I dropped my balls. <laughs> oh. Points at Barrows. Points at Barrows. Mm. He oh, does that. I never have much to say. Yes. However, at this point, I feel you should have a lot to say. As you watch as he stands and from a drawer pulls out a hefty sack of paper. As he does, places them out into even bundles. One for everyone, Barbarin. This is a contract of employment. Are we getting paid? What's up? You will be paid five gold per week. That's not what's up. In line with high ranking officials. Oh. Okay. He watches. Lord Bacaris is absolutely fucking seething at this point. Like, he wants to say something, but he knows he can. Yous will act and work on behalf of the Calaman military, seeking out these problems. In turn, you will be paid five gold per week. You will receive lodgings here permanently and indefinitely in Castle Calaman. You will be a squire of Calaman. You'll be given emblems to show you are part of the hierarchy. It is your choice. But it is the terms of service. Only one of you uh, is required to take this oath. However, in only one of you taking this particular oath, it may become scarce for you to see your friends. And you will have to keep many secrets. Nevertheless, it's still your choice to make. I will leave you to make a decision. As he 
leaves the paper on the table. As he walks out. This is the woman at the briefest quick moment now. Derek now jumps in. Oh, uh, he's here? Yeah, points to Baracus. Still seething. So, um, what's going on? They wouldn't let me in. They're asking us to sign these contracts in exchange for aiding Vulgar and its people. Yeah. Wait, Fane's gonna put on his reading glasses across the leg and go through the contract. Yeah, I like to do that as well. Lick a thumb. Flick yep. the pages. There are only about three pages. Which is good. Oh. There okay. are, there's a page where you would obviously sign. And the first page states the reason that you have come. The second page seems to state the stop the limitations to which the government here are acting upon. So, you know, what they've said they will do. And then the final page is you accepting the terms and conditions. These terms being that you will be given lodgings, you will become Ah, uh, sorry, Esquires of Calaman, not Squires. Esquires of Calaman. You will be paid five gold per week. You will receive free lodgings at the castle. You'll be given your emblems. And one final part it was omitted from what the governor said. That the town spoke of Vogler are only only allowed to stay until such time as the threat has been neutralized. Mm. Or in other words, the war stopped. Mm. <laughs> No, it's in character. <laughs> Dark looks, oh. looks at yourself, Renard. Mm -hmm. What's what do you make of this? Well, I'm glad that they've agreed to help the people of Vogler, and while I am equally as ready to assist Kalaman in any way possible. I'm already a knight of Slavnia, and I will not wear another emblem on my uniform other than a knight as mad as a knight of Slavnia. I'd be more than happy to take part in whatever operations they see fit to identify the, the foe, but that's a no-go for me. Hmm. Well... I have no uh, such emblem or holding to me, so Fane's gonna take a quill, pen, what, whatever have you, and uh, sign his name. Wait, Fane. Yes. There are some. There is specific wording of the contract that worries me. Uh, we're only going to be given the the aid to the vulgar's refugees are only going to be given into the war reaches this point. From my understanding, they will not be with inside the walls should war break out. We will be given homes, but not protection. Uh -huh. Do I notice this? I mean, it, say, it I says the... You said what? It says the refugees from Vogler will be given refuse until the threat is neutralized. Refuge? 
Trying to give him trash. <laughs> That's rare. Oh, no. What, what, what did you say, Scarlet? What did you say earlier? Um, <clears throat> what did I say in regards to what? Um, oh, I, I asked, uh, do I notice or overhear this? You're <clears throat> in the room with them, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you would, I would say, notice and hear the discussion. You would, you've heard everything that's been said to the party at that point. Okay, so when they specifically went over the contract and uh, promised the citizens um, of this, uh, well, migrated town, um, did when they promised um, the soldiers they could spare, were those soldiers to be stationed with them for further protection as an alternative to being housed within the city? Or were they just... No, just soldiers. If they deem nest, if the if Calaman deems them necessary to send out, or would I know this? Matter of fact, not not do, not is that, but would I would I perceive that to be such a thing? From what you can glean, based off of what you've been told, but well, based on what you know and what you've heard, you can ascertain that a sect of guard will be placed in that town in that sort of makeshift. I don't want to use the word shanty town or favela, it's a shanty but town. you know, FEMA camp. <laughs> guards will be kind of a delegation of guards will be in there as well, kind of out, city guards outside the city, helping in that particular area. FEMA camp is a lot gentler than uh, shanty town. <laughs> Definitely a lot more. I'm I'm being sarcastic. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, I would like to communicate and clear this up if necessary. Um, all they have promised is that, uh, they will send a number, not how many or how skilled, a uh, number of guards to the encampment to, I guess, watch over the people for the time being. They have shelter on your lands, but not within the walls. That, I'm not sure if it could be arranged, as that's not my area of discipline. But I'm sure you people are very resourceful and have a lot to, to offer, as well as the citizens and authority of Calaman. Excuse me, of the, was it Vogel? Vogler. Yeah, Vogler. So um, I would encourage you to respectfully, of course, negotiate the terms of your contract, because another one can always be drawn up. But take caution, because like, as I said, you may have noticed that some of the people in this court do not like you. And you may want to tread lightly with what influence you do have. Mm. I think the people of Ogla should be kept in the city. Uh, they are of no threat. It's because not a matter of threat, but of resources. Uh, At least yeah, that is my understanding. Was... I don't know if I'm correct, uh, Scottish. Uh, what was that, Emma? Uh, Archie? Oh, I was saying, um, it's not a matter of uh, the people being, you know, scary or a threat or just generally not good to be around. I think the main reason they're not within the city is because there is not adequate housing for them, considering the state of, I guess, the world and the city at, at large. It's well, essentially, yeah, there's space outside of the walls, but there isn't really any space inside the walls right now. Uh, like, you know, you showed up yesterday like from a better time you showed up yesterday there's no they can't exactly say you know oh yeah we'll erect 500 houses tomorrow for you like they've got this now I... they've got this now this is the introductory terms if you will you know that housing situation may change um you just don't know how long the war will take to qualm it could go on for another 50 years it could be done in less than one and obviously as times change so might that housing situation but as it stands right now it'd be a case that they're outside because it's going to be a lot easier to erect some quick housing and such outside the city where it's a bit more open our main problem is if Alaman gets attacked and they go through right. the front gate they're running through Vogler citizens first, and those people show no mercy. 
Bren would like to turn to Exodus and uh, Fane and address um well I was going to address um something like that. You could uh I would Bren would suggest you negotiate something such as allowing the citizens of Vogler to be um to be deemed uh to be sorry to be given temporary or probationary or partial citizenship access towards the city's resources as pertaining to coming and going from the city walls um of course protection from regular everyday threats with the guards but you might be able to negotiate a, a more of a bomb shelter type situation in such crisis that would not be totally unreasonable and definitely within the city's means However, I will say, as far as, um, you know, where you stay, under threat of emergency, the citizens are likely to be a lot more pliant with their uh, respective property, but they've already most likely, ha they already most likely have a skewed version of what happened, and will not necessarily take kindly to being, you know, forced by their government to do things that they may not want to do. Whereas, like as Scottish mentioned, um, but this is out, that was out of pocket, but um, or out of a uh, game. But as Scottish mentioned, uh, within the long run, you may want to um, put in a little bit of uh, um, I guess you would um, just say uh, <clears throat> put in with the contract a fuck. How do you say it? Put in with the contract uh, wording and uh, an agreement to further negotiate the contract and circumstances for possible uh, housing and uh, accommodations for a longer stay, and even, if necessary, absorption into uh, Calaman. But you do, again, want to be careful with the wording because, well, more citizens, more manpower, more money, more greed. So negotiate the rights of your people very carefully, but, you know... It does not befit me to sit idly by and watch you guys get swindled. I do not know you. I do not know your people. And frankly, I have no ties or obligation to help. But it's my personal belief that I need to do what I can to, I guess, make a better record for myself. He watches. And this time, Barakas has moved and I picked up one of the papers and started scratching bits off and such and he does my ass this is voice what do you say booms and echoes my ass the door opens and you just gonna hear a Yes. There's a few small things I'd quite like to clear up on this, if you would be so kind. I'm just gonna watch his, let's say the solemn hand gets placed on his shoulder. It moves. He watches the man's. Face drops. He walks in. Yes. What is it? Well, firstly, uh, you have it here that we'll have lodgings, and well, I quite like my own. You, you, you'll get a room befitting of anyone who is fitting the rank given, the rank given to use. Now, anyone who signs will be the equivalent of Lieutenant. You will not have private lodgings. Be grateful I'm letting your son stay here in my castle. Any more? Yeah, yes, the, the, the peasants. What, what about the peasants? They, obviously, we... Keep them outside, right? As things change, so too may their situation. Until now, 
it's going to be a bit easier to slowly erect housing there. A annex, if you will. And the issue of your badge that you will be handing me, these are the finest of clothes. It's just a badge that you can put on anything. You don't have to sew it to your jacket, nor your ascot. You can simply sew it to your coin purse. Finn Baralis, a uh, free perception check up for grabs. Just watches his mouth, kind of moves. Baralis, you hear him gonna mutter under his breath. Oh, your fucking mouth. Any other burning question? I'm sorry, my brother. My brother said something stupid to me, and I'm trying to say. I do have a quick question. He's trying In... to look that up, figure it out. He's trying to. He's trying to tell me that gas costs six fifty a month, and I was like, for who? The boy's but a wee lad. He doesn't know what the real world's like. He hasn't he, had to pay for anything himself. And then he did a year and it was like 39k. I was like, who pays that much on gas? Um. You can't. So he, <laughs> he would say, Exodus would speak up and say, in the case of an attack, what will happen to the refugees? Will they be able to seek shelter? In some corner of the town, perhaps the streets or local taverns. Yes. Or will they? Re why? Okay. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> the, um, the, the town goes under attack. We have the walls. If the town goes under attack, the idea of the walls and the gates is anyone who is in Calaman or from Calaman, or. In this case, seeking refuge in Calaman, will be brought into the large walls. It's the walls have survived the cataclysm. Like there is safety for all. Why would it ever be in question that we would let people out to die? Be very much against the be very much against what I'm asking you to sign against. Uh, sorry for my hesitation and weariness. Honestly, before this, we weren't emissaries of Vulgar. Actually, just visiting for a friend's funeral. So, signing a contract and loyalty to help these people, it, it worries me. Fuck but... the people! <laughs> I mean, Baralis. Bacaris walks out. Is the paper flutters? You see, briefly, his signature. Finally, he's gone. You're negotiating with the ruling class of a city for people who offer little to nothing per person coming in. It's not going to be very nice. This brass walks and a note. The people will be free to work if they wish and contribute and start afresh here in Calaman. There's no disputing that. They will be given refuge here. If they start a business, they start a business. Frankly, there is no Vogler to go back to right now. Maybe in five years' time? Yes. As it stands right now, though? No. So, they will live out normal lives here in the town. They will just live outside the town. Because it's easier to build wooden houses than it is stone houses.
Does... Uh, sorry. <laughs> As for your... Qualm with making deals for people. It's what you were given your letters for. My guard has informed me of those letters. If you believe this is the best deal you can get, then by all means, take it. If you feel there is room to barter, then try. If, however, you feel this is not a deal that you wish to take, and it's not advantageous for the people of Calaman. Then there's a few more towns down by the city, down by the, the lake, down the river. You could try your luck with them. This is the best we I can give, best for, off the yeah, information. For the people. Yes, sir? I think... For the people of Fogler, this is a very, this is a good, good and acceptable agreement. Personally, oh, we ask in return, really, and again, all we ask is that you become a very particular branch of a military. Bryn would be essentially being promoted from squire to lieutenant. When does that happen? I would. Yourselves would be paid handsomely per week. Technically speaking, we are doing a lot for you and we, the city, will be able to pocket the most here. However, we do, and please do not think I was ungrateful in any way, shape, or form. And we do not want to come across as imposing, but you will be giving us more information than we could ever possibly have. The information you have given us alone, barring some, has been vital. You are the only ones who have come back alive. We are paying you simply to sweeten the pot. You will be the frontline defense against these dragonoid creatures. Uh, Exodus would look to Fen and say I'm for it. Uh, that is this is We'd be given a position that we otherwise no longer would have gotten, me and you. Settlement in the city. Position of... Honor. Yeah, it's better than mercenaries. I was gonna sign my name anyway. Yes, I'm just speaking aloud. Yes. Uh... Gonna sign my name. Exodus. I am assuming Exodus and Fane <laughs> saying. Yep. Did uh Renard uh put out his issue with wearing the sigil? I haven't yet. I haven't addressed it with the governor. I'll address it now. I tell him that uh, as a sworn member of the Knights of Salamia, I and I'm in able to accept a commission in another military be it uh, local or national I will however be more than willing to work with this group as a member of this group I just cannot wear any other insignia other than that as a knight of Slomnia so that is the only hiccup we have here with me signing I'll look at the map. <laughs> going to sleep. We are in Salamia. I know Kalaman um, is in Salamia. I would technically, uh, as, as bad, I would argue it's technically East World. Uh, 
I that think now? it's on the edge of Salamnia with Est Estwild. You look at the wiki? Um, so... If I quickly... The city of Kalamon is considered to be the northeastern jewel of Salamnia. Features one of the most beautiful castles in all of Ancelon. It's the way they've done this map. Where they put Salamnia, like you both see, they put Salamnia over here, Eastwild here, and then Kalamon right fucking here. Yeah. I blame who made the map. If you've got this, uh, I'd say if you've got you, you remember this shit probably. If it's saying that, then we go with that. I'm always more than happy yeah, to take your sage on it more than anything. Yeah, there are go. there are no clear borders where each of them cut off with how much yeah. territory they have. And t technically speaking, if you follow that river down, that river stops before it meets the next river. So therefore, there is a land cut. It's a very fucking deep land cut, but... Move it back to the map. I want to go to the middle of that large red landmass over there and see what's no. happening. That ain't a landmass, no. my guy. That's an ocean. I was, I was, I was hovering over the dragon's head, uh, but um, I was about to make a little stupid joke. <laughs> she looks at you. Understand that whilst you may be proud of that aspect of your life the issue comes that that won't get you too far the reputation of the knights tarnished from things no one is alive to remember i implore you that i understand him understand where I'm coming from. I have no issue other than that. It is a matter of, do you trust me or not? If I sign the paper or not, I'm willing to work as a member of this group. I just to work as feel a member, that, that. To work as a member of this group, one would argue that you are on secret admissions and such. I only ask you carry the badge to prove you are charged by us. I do not ask you to carry the badge. Doff, doff or don any armor. You can wear what you wear. However, if ever questioned by someone as to who gives you the authority, the badge is what gives you authority. Keep it in your coin purse if you wish. Keep it hidden so it may, may never see the light of day. But I find that acceptable. It is yours to use. I find that acceptable. Derek kind of looks. Do do we sign or snow? Yes. I uh, I give him the papers. Uh, I'll try the, try the copy that hasn't been adulterated by uh, Bacaras. I... <laughs> I won't subject you to him. That's a that's, that's a... that's a bit of my... I will not subject you to him. He will do his own thing where he feels important, but he is not. Worry not. It sounds like you've read the man correctly. There are tales, but he is inflated. It's the yeah. man looks at yourself, Boralus. What say you? Do you have any qualms, any questions, any issues, or...? Well, if I'm getting paid, I have no issue. Boralus signs the papers. Okay. Then... Consider this your inauguration. You should take words back. The people of Vogler are welcome. In due time, in due course, there will be a settlement 
built for them that will slowly be expanded upon. They are free to live out the rest of their lives as people of Calaman. They may leave whenever they wish. They may take down root, build a farm, trade, be treated as someone from the city. If the dragon army, as you say, do come, they, along with everyone else, will be given a chance to enter before the gates close. And in the event that the evil that you speak of has been eradicated, they will be asked to leave and assisted in relocation. If the time comes where too much time has passed and we are multiple generations in, then they may stay. As at that point, it's a debt no one would ever truly remember. Go now. Speak to your leaders. Come back here tomorrow, bright and early. You have a job to attend. Until then, it's gonna open the door. I bid you good day. We shall be here if you need us. And if not, then the city is yours. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the people of Fogler and the mayor, we thank you. As he nods graciously at all of you. He doesn't mm. smile. You can tell the look in his face. He knows what he's done is necessary and what's coming up he's unsure of. Let's go ahead and take five. So, right. so I have to make sure things are sorted and because we very rarely take breaks. It's always good to take one every once in a while. Rexer for Kit Kat bars. Let's go. I wonder if it's too late to argue for breastplate. <laughs> I have no clue at all. I just don't want to look back and say I didn't say anything if something goes wrong. We have magic coin purses. Oh, hello there. Oh, you're cleaning your nuts. Get away from me. Can I can I explain something that happened while I... So, <laughs> I took an hour nap before the session, right? Mm-hmm. I additionally had a dream that I was late for the session by two hours. <laughs> before waking up. Oh, that's a little funny that I had a dream about missing the session and joining late. <laughs> you got D&D on the brain, my friend. I think we all have that one person that we want to send this to. Before this session, I uh, just got to do this, got to do that. Meanwhile, um, yeah, uh, fucking. <laughs> Tip of the day. 
They really managed to annoy the Mad Mage. So, um... Yeah. Because of that, I've had to take to doing every level, because... They can no longer use the stairs and they need to use the portals. And they portaled to another level and said, like, oh, what's in this level? And I'm like, there's nothing in this level because I've not fucking populated it. <laughs> so I've spent all day populating maps. So we've got barbecue beef hoops. Alright, hit me. My guy, these are just pillow hoops. Which makes it really easy to use chopsticks. Hmm. They're pretty good pillow hoops. So yeah, I will also run a can I turn can Mediary session with um Melanona because her whole thing's a separate thing. What's that? Right. Is anybody up to anything good this week? Mm -mm. Mm. No. Oh, when is it you go back to work, by the way? Me? Yeah, so I remember you saying you were going back, back to tomorrow. Oh. Perfect. Going back tomorrow on light duty. Which means desk work. Is that all you're going to be? Is this constant three desk work? Indeed. For a while. So I can <laughs> recover some more. <sighs> Jalen. 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 Mm -hmm. This is a video. I, I get recommended random Random shit from small pages, sometimes on my Instagram Reels feed. And this is this video said you can take the grandpa out of the hood, but it's so okay. The grandpa playing with the baby. Um, playing with the blocks, you know, the blocks you put in the you, you, you put the pegs in the hole, the different shapes, different colors. You got the star, you got the triangle, you got the square. Mm -hmm. What does this motherfucker do with him? Take him them out. The square. No. The, the, the peg is nowhere to be found. He put them all in a row, right? He introduced them each to the child, put them into his hands, scrambled them up, and started making like he was doing a fucking street dice trick. Blew on his hand and everything. Had had fucking tricks and shit to it. And then said, and then asked the child, all right, so put your money on one. Put your money on which one the, 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 the Cheerio is under. And his mom said, don't teach him that. <laughs> this man was trying to hustle his own grandson. Well, I mean, not, not trying to, I'm just saying, it's, it's kind of funny seeing that shit done to a child in this context. Mm-hmm. The man did the fucking sound effects, too. Oh, it's gonna be real. Oh, I just realized now with, um... So have you got, like, a set schedule of days, or do you just have, like, you'll be doing certain days? Um, I'll probably... Go into the office maybe three days a week. I think I'm going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Unless, uh... But it's not really set, so I can alter that as needed. Hey, Jalen. If you, uh... If, uh... If, uh, you died, would you... Okay, sorry, rather... Not, not if you died, but... Would you give Robert an agreement... Or would you enter an agreement with Robert that you would give him your PS4 if you died? No, it is to be burned. If you died by completely natural means. No, it is to be burned. 
burn. You're going to cremate your light store. Yes. Put it in my like ashes. Cremate. Scatter us. Uh, teammates, your PS4. So yeah, scatter our ashes at the uh, Niagara Falls. That's all. What's up? Just, just scattering the ashes. Up. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna ask them to superheat lithium ion batteries and then scatter them into something that's running into local water supply. Yes, I want, I want local people to drink us. Mm. It'll be like you how I want local people to ingest. Never mind, though, the answer is going to be yes. Yeah. Let's move through. I'm hearing really dumb questions. <laughs> Let's move forward before things get weird. So. Too late. <laughs> I just. What? Mostly we will pick it up. As you are failing out of the room, where do you wish to go? Um, go back to the refugee encampment and inform the mayor of the offer from Kalaman to give them lodgings. Yep. That's where I'd like to go. I don't know about the rest of you. What do you think? I'm following. You said tell what? Me, but I'm following. Tell them about the plan. The next key. Step four. Now the show is. You just go down through the town. Down your massive mountain. Through the markets and such. Passing the long timing on the dirt path. You went to come back to the refugee camp looking considerably better than it did when last years were there. As it does, you mm. see, the mayor is moving things along quite well. The town, for the most part, or the town spoke have settled into things. Children lie sleeping. There is some food on the go. Excuse me to in the mirror. Oh, you're back. Okay, you've been gone a while. Was, was everything okay? What's, what have they said? Uh, let her know that the, the governor and the council of Kalaman have agreed to give them housing outside the western wall of the city. Uh, provide them aid in whatever way they can and help them build more per permanent houses until such time as the threat has been eliminated and they can return to Polar and rebuild. Okay. Then I will inform the people and we will make our way in the morn over the next few days. I'm yet to see from the lords the you know the one as you had left the castle the younger was nowhere to be seen at this point. If you are, uh, I know I shouldn't wish ill on some people, but you know, has ill begotten him? Please say yes, or uh, they are alive and well. However, the governor seems to be a astute observer of the human condition, and I believe understands our Lord Bakaris and his son quite well. And we'll do what he can to keep him out of your hair. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you so, so, so much for that one. For it. 
we are eternally and always gratefully in your debt. I can only can only thank you for what you have done for us. That's our pleasure. Tame pass. Yeah. No, nothing. I'm talking to myself. This is the tame passes slowly. Maybe about thirty minutes later, a large convoy, if you will, comes. Several wagons and contingents of soldiers, all bearing the colours and flags of the army of Calaman, arrive at the camp. They start to aid the people they feel need the most help. People who have been wounded and lying in tents with almost grievous wounds. They take some off to the city. Those who benefit from a proper healer. Some I'm back. Some are left in the encampments with you and some soldiers also wait with you. There is now a small guard presence in the camp. All of guards wearing Calaman's colours. They aid people, they break up riffraff and they overall keep the kids attention. See Mayor looks at us. You have done more than anyone would ever have a thought used with that and I have nothing to show for this I have nothing that I can give you now as a reward there is no land no title that I can give that I can validate my job as mayor of a town that no longer exists. For it, you have saved these people. You have tried to save the town. There's nothing I can do bar only ever thank you for what you have done. I do so hope that you will make yourselves known around the settlement wherever possible. However, I'm sure now you will have jobs to do. I'm truly sorry for any losses that you have had. She looks at Dara. There's been no word. No one's heard from <clears throat> Pajul. No one's heard from anything from the town. It's... It's gone, and I can only assume they are completely dead. Mm -hmm. So for what it's worth, you can call yourselves heroes of Bogler, but it would ring hollow to anyone who doesn't know. And I'm sorry for that. I'm only sorry that more couldn't have been saved. We will rebuild. Maybe not in my lifetime, but at some point. We will rebuild, and we will get back to it. Until then, 
feel free to stay here the night if you wish or if you have other duties to attend to use may attend to them what is that it kind of looks thank you i i'd best be off i will see you in the morning um I'll make excuses if you're late. She watches here. Yeah, she kind of moves off with the final delegation of guard. Before it, the night is yours. Do you uh, I would like to recall or still roll a perception. Do, did I see any... Uh, interesting shops while we walk through the town? There were a few very interesting stalls, yes. Um, stalls that had all manner of things. Armors, tinctures, tools, and weaponry. As well as food and miscellaneous. All within the town centre that you walked through initially. Who is the black hair token? That, that's our boy. This one? That's your what? That's our boy. Hmm? Like that's, our, like... that's our resident boy. That's not an answer. <laughs> that's that's Derek. This one here? It's Derek. It's our boy. Okay, who was the lady speaking just now? Where's the uh, Mayor Raven? The Mayor of the town. Not this town, the uh, Flogboy. We're back in, and this is, is it, we're not here still in the room. This one's the Mayor, this one's Data. Okay, I was confused. Um, That's right. Are, 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 we, are, are we in the tower still? No, no, no. No, we're, we're at the refugee camp and you are technically with the party now. I'm seeing the tower only. You know something? I'm seeing all the tokens in the tower. I thought I brought you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Camp. <laughs> That's on me. Could I, could I like, acquisition to see how much they, they roast? Would cost? They roasting a pig over here. Looks like it. Wait, where's my token? Mm. Oh wait, can I? Uh, what is this? A loot? The, I think so. Can I? I want to try to play it. You can. Oh boy. No problem to check. I want to say. Let me read something quickly. Does that go for performance? Where is it? Something dragon. The man subclass is dragon, and he's looking for something called dragon. I'm gonna be here about yeah. this. Draconic mm -hmm. disciple. Hmm. Okay. Low well, performance. Hope I'm not terrible. Oh, and as you watch, loot. as Fane picks up uh, the loot, he does, gives it a few little strums, checks to see if it's in tune, does, clears his throat. You can see, small breath in. There is a house. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in Vogler, at once it <laughs> held a gnome. Your singing is oh my good to anyone who is deaf. I want to roll to sneakily cover my ears, or a ear. There is no sneakily. <laughs> 
Can I roll into the... There is no sneakily to do this. Everyone is doing this. Instinctively. Even the okay, guard... Okay, I roll doesn't... to do it quickly. Yeah, I just want to do it as fast as possible. Yeah, kind of... Psh, hands on, hearing this audible singing. It's terrible. It's everyone looks around and starts giving those strained looks. Oh, that dark liquor fucks up your throat. Yeah, maybe. I'll put it down. See. Guard kind of leans in. Wouldn't give up your day job, mate. <laughs> Speaking of day job, what is your day job for tomorrow? Uh, do we? Do you begin your, uh, shall we say, assignment? Uh huh. Hmm. And this is for Scottish. I'm. I'm to join them, right? Yeah, uh -huh. you've technically been promoted. Okay, I'm gonna go back to wherever the fuck I keep my little bed, and I'm going to gather my shit. And come back here. Are you with- I don't know how- Hmm? Yeah, your stuff would all be in the castle. Oh, right. Could I say I got it on the way out? Yeah, yeah. So you got it on the way out without any, without any right. issue. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Who would I talk to about getting better armor for or better gear? Not better gear, but given uh, I can use medium armor now, who would I talk to about acquiring that for the military? Are you talking to me? Uh, hmm? it was O Sealy, but yeah, we could take it I Sealy. It would probably be it'd make good RP. So yeah. Oh, no, no, you, you didn't have to. I was just asking in general. But, um... <sighs> um, I... Wait, Scottish, does he have it? Does... Okay, the quartermaster. I was about to ask, do I have access to said military equipment? And uh, do I have the right to give it to him? Or you does he have the right to go and take it? You wouldn't have access... You, you'd know who gives it, but you wouldn't have access to go and take it. Because, you know, Got you. I, I suppose in the same way, if you're, you know, first day in the military, military, they're not going to go, here's the key to where we keep the RPGs, take one whenever you want. Got you. Um, all right. I, I ask him, do you want directions or a guide to the quartermaster? I mean, you seem to know these people. If you just could come with me, help with the paperwork. We can we can set out. You now. can uh, tell me about this land, as uh, appears I am now a relatively high-ranking member of a specialized task force, and will be living here for the foreseeable future. Well, there's not a whole lot um I can impart with you that can't really be gained with a good few days of experience with with an uh. The very observant eye, but I'll do my best to sum this up for you. So, we have. Excuse me. You already know of its location and its, uh, I guess, general geographical positioning, correct? Oh, what was that? You know, the uh, so you already know of. Sorry. Yeah, you know. Calaman, like where it's positioned on the general map of the land, right? Of course. All right. Well, in Calaman, the main center is to, uh, I guess, um, sorry, excuse me. The main uh, details to follow would be um, the general knowledge about Cap uh, Calaman being the capital um, of the Salamnic province of Nightland. But you know that based on the geographical position, so we'll skip over that. Um, the city um, is led by, of course, the governor you have met, uh, followed by, uh, in step, a council of guild leaders. Um, the guild leaders are from the, you know, the general most five um, prominent guilds, uh, which would have to be 
the shipwrights, of course, seeing as how this is a port city, the Mason's Guild, the Fisher's Guild, again port city, Dockhand's Guild, once again port city, and Cartographer's Guild, seeing as this is a capital, so generally there should be some record and some means of creation of uh, mapping out the entirety of the lands. Um, uh, the guild leaders are, of course, all nobles, but, um, you know, they are still respected in their craft. They are humans and dwarves alike, which are mainly what you'll find here, but I assume any, pretty much a whole a wide array of people are welcome. Then following the guild leaders in command, we have the marshals. Um, these would be, I guess, my and now your commanders of the military guard. Um, they are in charge of generally the eastern part of Salandia. Um, so, excuse me. We generally operate a bit separately from the Knights of Salamnia. So, as such, we have taken great care to bolster our media, uh, not media, fucking, our military. And we take pride in the defenses and training that we have such uh, set forth. I am not a born and bred, formally trained member of said military, but I came here looking for work, and they whipped me into shape, and I'm thankful for my position. Um... Within the capital city, you have the, uh, you have, um, of course, the strong walls and castle and the harbor beacons, all of which are meant to last and have lasted through the, cat through the cat cataclysm, um, a testament that we both, um, you know, actively encourage and just generally passively, uh, like to have as a standing reminder, um, along with the military to discourage attacks which you may find pretty, I guess, appealing for your refugee, refugee for your ref, for your fellow refugee citizens. Um, we have the Vingard Port at the mouth of the Vingard River, about thirty miles downhill from where you came out. About, I, th I guess, it's somewhere close to where you came in. And, well, that's about everything I can really give you. Everything else is a bit more cultural, and I. I thoroughly suggest experiencing some of it for yourself as you take your days off. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh, but now, are we made it to the quartermaster, or are we gonna switch walk. on over? It's a two-minute uh, walk. So, well, does anyone else wish to do anything else at the moment? Uh, going over and looking through the shops, seeing if I find anything interesting. So you two, uh, are, you two are going to the city. Is anyone else going to the city? Yeah, I'll be heading back. Uh, I'm not. So you're gonna go around camp, and try to see if anyone needs assistance, uh, healing, or any. Other way I can help with the uh, morale or pre preparations for the move. Yeah, um, Elixir. Well, so then for yourself there, I'm going to put you on the scene so you know. Um, I'll have you, you know, making like your own checks and such, just to kind of make it a little easier. So you can delete that token there. For every token that I had a Cosmo and I need to replace it with a Bryn. And then go to here. Oh, here. I forgot to add this detail for anyone. It's not in the picture, but um, uh, Bryn is consistently wearing a uh, Kiri Jolith uh, pendant on a necklace around her neck. Oh. I don't even think I've added that to the sheet. I'd like to point that out. It's, it's, it's on the sheet. It's on the sheet. That's where I just read that from. So, I would not remember the name otherwise. It says you are in this small little city market. There are merchants from all over selling and peddling their wares. Uh, for the most part, it is a rather busy affair. 
it is a town centre for the most part. But as everyone is walking through, you can see all manner. I believe I've put all the names that you should be able to see above certain um, certain yeah. stores. Gotcha. The place is winding down for the night, though. Quite an awful lot of sales have been made, but Please. there are still sales to be made. We'll take a walk around. Simple weapons, food stuff. Armorer. Jeweler. Small piece of jewelry in the style of your homeland's craftsmanship. Put another folder for another group because this is where the fucking shops are. Mm. Is it cinnamon or lafane? I don't think so. Is what? Uh, Fane has a piece of jewelry from his homeland, and I saw a jeweler, and I'm just like. Money, and I'm just like, no, that's probably, that's, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah. What is tinctures? What is what? Tinctures. Um, so I don't want to say, like, the, like, technically potions, but I don't want to say, like, oh, this is a potion shop, because tinctures is anything to do more medically so it's not just like you know they'll have like potions and you know at the same time that's the word i'm like so they'll have like you know healing potions but it'd also be like there's also say other types of potion there as well as that other general well-being-y things that's, mm -hmm. i think like an eastern medicine shop i suppose you know oh, shit. Does that make sense? You mean like that shit with like with all the drawers full of uh, uh, carefully cured mm -hmm. goods and you know body parts and uh, roots that have been preserved and old medicinal properties as well as the tools to um, combine quick medicine for people to take home in a package? Yes. Gotcha. However, I feel you're I feel you're talking at a, a different type of shop there. <laughs> oh, I was just going off of my image of Eastern medicine shop. Like sounded an awful lot like a dispensary to me. Oh no, I was trying to describe that shit you see in Chinatown. Like that's the only thing I have for reference aside from movies. It's like um. The drawers look like if you go to like like an actual if you go to um an actual shop like that in Asia like everything looks like a lot more I guess medical than you would think while still maintaining of course a holistic air like when I say drawers of shit and like jars I'm trying to like it, it doesn't describe how they have that organized it looks like yep have you ever seen in like I guess uh anime or asian oriented me uh animated media like pr preferably uh, if you've seen a uh, fucking um what is it a manhua mangua i don't know what the fuck it is but um the animated version of a chinese visual novel yeah no, I, I get what you're on about okay. yeah they they have like a lot of um a lot of shit similar in style to that as like general nurse's office type things what's this is using but um it's hard to describe these are, you know, rocking up to here. Um, I'll say as we kind of do a quick jet jettison back to the camp. As time is going on and people are moving things about. Uh, you give me a general strength check or which have a, a strength based skill check. Whichever is better for you. Okay. Not you. Uh, Renard. John. Oh, my bad. Me? Yeah. 
I apologize. I was... No, no, that's okay. I, I meant to see you first, and I didn't. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, Palmer rolled something good. <laughs> as you as um, you are, you know, helping people pack things onto carts, moving things through. As a, you know, there's an air of enlightenment. Not enlightenment, but an air of happiness around these people. I realise that the Baralis token is the old Baralis token and not the new Baralis token. It doesn't make any sense. One Baralis token. As you are, assist as you're assisting people and such, you can feel that these people are grateful for what you're doing. You can tell that they don't want to have to leave, but knowing that they're going to be given a better home is always something else. You can see the air of relief on their face. For the most part, it's relatively easy work that you're doing right now. Lighten oh god, so. wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you guys secure provisions? Yeah. For the, like, like a steady supply? Okay, I didn't hear that part. My bad. I was just like, oh god, what if they go hungry? So, uh, Finn, you are in the town market. What are you looking for? Is there are people all over peddling their wares. Hmm? What wares are you looking for? Not sure. Really? <laughs> Bro, so you, you two are in the town. Are you looking to acquire anything? I'm not sure. I was just here to have a look about. I see she's uh, looking around. Numerous shops do have all manner of things on display. The mm. miscellaneous goods having large, large spindles of Rope, backpacks, hammers and piton kits, all manner of adventuring gear. The Fletchers to the south, as you look around, have rather, rather lovely, delicate, intricate arrows all up for sale, as well as bows, crossbow bolts, and all manner of odd weapons. Some you may not have particularly used before. The one is crossbows. <laughs> uh, as you are looking at the tinctures there, you do see a numerous amounts of small vials to rather large vials of various different colours and a few little boxes with aid scribed upon them. With what? Aid. AID. Okay, sorry, my bad. Um, are, there, are there already, um, like, set up kits for aid? Yeah, for the most part, I, there, there is one open. You can see all the little thing on the inside. You can ascertain that this is a healer's kit. A healer's kit allows you to... Instantly stabilize someone. It has like Three charges. I believe I believe they've got like three charges. And how much is he selling it for? Yeah, look. It's uh ten gold, sir. Wow, that is a lot. <laughs> I want to ask uh, the vendor if he has any, um, probably a bit of an ask, um, I don't know what would be a good place to ask about perfume, or if possible, any, I want something cheap that smells strong, but distinctly like something someone would wear. Hmm. If you have anything regarding, uh... Not necessarily perfume that one someone might wear, but animal musk or anything like that, so, uh, extracted from, uh, you know, some sort of beast. I take that as well. I'm just inquiring about prices and general inventory. 
Uh, we have a uh, hunting sprays. The particular scent or particular female creatures to lure out males for hunting. If that's what you're implying about. Or we that have... could work. Yeah, the... What else were you going to say? Head over to here to the miscellaneous goods section. We also have uh, small bottles of fumes for the women. How much for the perfume? It's uh, five silver. And how much for the hunting scent? Uh, depends upon the scent. They range from two silver to four gold, depending upon the animal. Hmm. Are they limited to just animal scent or monster scents? Uh, particularly animal scents. Hmm. This is not a universe where to... there are witches. <laughs> oh, I wasn't really thinking about that, but... Um... Do you have anything... Yeah, I'll go with the perfume for now, and uh, I don't really know what I what I wanted to do with um or with the general um population of the woods in this area are. So, any elk or deer related? Uh yes, we have, we have a few. Yes, by all accounts. Uh, which one would you prefer, elk or doe? Hmm, doe. You know, hands over a small bottle. Or smaller spray ball with the wording I am looking for is the perfume ball, followed by another muskier ball. It's uh, one gold, five silver, please. Can do. Uh, do you have any packaging that would, uh, of course, tone down the smell until the moment of use? Uh, they are in little bottles. Here you see the little um thing you kind of push it and it gives up a short bursting spray it's gotcha. none of those pouring ones they get it all over yourself and give away your position very ingenious of you i might have to come back here um how much was everything again uh, one gold five silver one gold five silver all right i go ahead and hand that over and i would also like to ha ask if you uh possess any um Shall we say tranquilizing agents for said hunt? No, uh, I don't deal in poisons. I'm afraid. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry to uh, to uh, ask such a question of you, but thank you for putting up with my request. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. All right, and you have a good day. You and do. I would like to head on over to the flat river. As you and Boralis stand at the flat the good oh, human young guy seems to be honing away, whittling down some shafts and testing heads. Are you going to stare all day or would you like to buy something? Ah, uh, yes. Um... How much would a light crossbow set me back? Ooh. I printed this off quite a while ago, you can tell. Um, well, it ain't on this one. Let's try this one. I have multiple shops, okay? <laughs> Cal crops, ammunition, crossbow bolt, flail, maul, rapier, scimitar. Uh, a light crossbow there. For myself, you would be looking at around about 18 gold. 18 gold? 18 All right. Gold. I'll keep that price in mind and, uh, how well priced are your bolts and your standard arrows? Uh, 
one gold for 20. It's a very standard flat rate, but um, I am slowly trying to improve them, make them that bit better. You know, gives you a wink. Your standard rate is very agreeable, and I'm sure that within a short amount of time, you'll be able to offer your patrons much more exotic wares. I'll be sure to keep your stand in mind. And I would like to head to the Quartermaster myself. Then you would be going to road to the castle at that point there. Uh, Baralis, is your stand in there? Anything you wish to buy or inquire about? Uh, I was looking for some uh, improved arrows, if you've got any other types. Um, I have these ones. It's gonna pull it out. As opposed to your standard flat arrow, this one seems to have a more jagged edge. It's uh, meant to induce a bit of bleeding. You never know. Could impair someone as well. It is, for the most part, a. It's it's not one that you. It's not one you use for fun. Look at it that way, and you don't hunt with it either. Uh, how much for uh, ten? I'll give them a give them a go. So, uh, what ten of these would set you back two gold? That's fine. I will add these to your sheet. And I'll bump the gold. So for yourself, um, see where it says longbow on your sheet? Yeah. On there, um, you can change it from arrow to barbed arrow. And from there, anything to do with the barbed arrow is essentially anything to do with the barbed arrow is it'll roll that instead of your standard arrow i suppose is the word i'm looking for right okay and same still similar rule you get half back at the end of a fight all right uh, Out of that to your thing. He kind of hands you over a, a small wrapping. Unless you're doing business with you. Have a nice day. You too. Ben, you stand at the miscellaneous goods. For all intent and purposes here, you are essentially looking at the contents of Dungeoneers packs, Priests packs, Adventurers packs, and the occasional smattering of oddities. See, rather. Older man just stands, looking around. He is, doesn't see much business, but he's happy to stand there all day. Uh, I'm interested in the odd. In terms of his oddities, you there are things such as you know, bags of ball bearings, caltrops, bells, string. You're not so normal things that you you know don't typically come across. Um, how many cow traps do I get in a bag? Good twenty. Twenty for how much? Uh one gold. Okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, I'll be. I'll buy two bags of caltrops and one bag of. Actually, we'll make it two bags of ball bearings and one bag of caltrops with the gold. Let's see. So, 
for that. I will, if you want to take the gold off, and I'll just do a quick import for you. Alright. So that was Caltrops and... Ball bearings. Take the gold off? Yeah, if you've taken the gold off, I've already added the Caltrops bag of 20 and ball bearings bag of 1000. That's not nine. It's supposed to be ten. What's supposed to be ten? My gold, but it keeps changing to zero. There you go. It's still zero. <laughs> God. You should have nine. There you go. Ten. Ten. Okay, I'll, I'll do ten. Don't worry. Every. There you go. Piece matter. <laughs> I got you. There you go. Right. Got call drops and you said a thousand ball bearings. God damn. Yeah, the, the whole idea of the bag of ball bearings is you tip them all out in one go, Scooby Doo style. Hmm. Where is the banana slipping noise when you need it? It's alright, so we are. There we go. So. Uh, well, Morales has had to leave because he's got college early in the morning, so I'm cool mm. with that. He makes his way back to the castle. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, is anyone else doing anything else at the moment? Nope. Just like to. Oh, at the moment? You'd like to. No. Move? I would like to go to the armory. And see if I can finesse my way into a bow and some arrows. Then, as you just make your way, to it, there is no armory in that regard in terms of like you know a map. So you make your way to your castle, up through the main courtyard to a door on the left. Let's go down through the interior, down a set of stairs into a sort of darker area. You see a balding man with a sort of handlebar moustache kind of sitting there with a book. Oh, what can I do you for? I'd like to check out a standard longbow and a quiver stuck with standard arrows for the purposes of supplementing my rations while I'm out on a mission. Okay. Uh, and who is giving you clearance? Oh, wonderful. I'm going to go ahead, stop that up, and uh, thank him, and be on my way. I didn't catch what you said. Oh, I said, uh, I said perfect. I'm going to go ahead, stock that up, um, thank him, and be on my way. As after filling out the appropriate paperwork, of course. No, he he, he asked who has given you that, as in like under whose Who's giving me that? Under whose authority? Shit, who asked who um who commissioned us to go out? Rather, who promoted me? Well, the governor. Yet, you've not yet been promoted. Okay. Your first day starts tomorrow, you're still technically a squire. No. Come on. All right. I would like to tell him that I came here a bit preemptively, hoping to get a jump start on tomorrow's mission, and uh, you know, generally guide a group of investigators towards a common goal set forth by the governor, who saw fit to promote me. Though, of course, I can always you know come back tomorrow with official notice if you would like to play by the book. I see no problem in that. It's, I require the information, I'm afraid. It is... It's alright. You're just doing your job. Once you have it, do let me know and I'd be more than happy to give you it. Alright, that works. 
Mm, now I'm gonna go all the way over here and I'm gonna get myself a piece of strawberry pie. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that the quartermaster he just talked to? Yes. Alright, I assume he would he uh, Exodus would speak up. I'm not sure where we are. I don't know if I'm out on for it, map. so it's all in Alright. Um he would say I assume getting a better suit of armor for myself is Whoa. also out of the question for now. For now, at least. For now, it is. All right. If your superior deems it necessary, then you may be given the armor for your job. If you are in dire need of armor, she's gonna look she up and down. Then you could plead your case. But as it stands, uh, you would have to speak with your. You'd have to speak with your commanding officers. So if you start tomorrow, then if you're given a mission, come back tomorrow. You will have the appropriate authorization and I will be able to give you this with no quarrels. However, if things go missing and it's not signed out appropriately, then, uh, well, I need this job. I'll wait until tomorrow for the longbow and such, but if you want to go ahead and check everything out now for your armor, we can do that. I don't think he has the clearance either. Nobody's told him he can take armor. Didn't... Did, did, did he not just ask him if he wants to go on good faith until tomorrow? No. He said he can't give it out tomorrow because of he can't give it out just now because if something happens, you know, and it's not proper. I missed a portion of that conversation. Never mind. That's right. Going to make strawberry pie. Speaking of Scottish, do they have strawberry pie in the foodstuffs? The foodstuffs are generally rations and cooking stuff. Yeah, dried meats yeah. and all manner of separate things. Sad. There is like, you know, there is like baked good, but more that type of like, you know, breads. Oh, horrible. I'm looking for my big old strawberry pie. Horrible. But yeah. Does anyone else wish to do anything else? No. I don't know, I'll see. Far and off, uh, as you are walking around the camp there or not, there are still a number of people in aches, pains, and such. Any small encampment off to the side. As they are, there are people trying to aid them as well as they can. But, you know, as good as you can given the circumstances. So, I'm going to use the word nurse. Look at you. So, there's tellings that you can do things. Is this true? Uh, it is true. I have a limited number of times that I have can provide some healing. As in trained medical professional? As in a gift from the god, the gods. The miraculous, if you may, what may we call it? I would be glad to demonstrate if you can triage your patients and tell me who's in the most need. Some... I'll be glad. 
I'm just gonna points to a man in the corner who's got a profuse bleed that doesn't quite seem to be stopping. He'll be dead in the morning if we can't stop that. And shy of burning the leg off and killing him due to shock, we can't do much. What about you? Can you? Well, I will see what I can do. I walk over and kneel down next to the man. Clasp my medallion to Kiri Doleth in my hand. Hold another hand over his wound and say a prayer and cast a cure light wounds. Do you burn this off? Just don't remove the spell slot, don't worry about burning the spell. Do you burn this off and she watches. As the power courses through you to the leg. And the bleed just stops. The wind no longer festers. The man's pain seems to vanish. See, nurse looks down at you. The patient kind of seems to sit up and look at you. What? It's both can't bring the words to their mouth. The shock of this is more shocking than anything they have seen. That's... That's, that's incredible. And you say... There's a blessing from the god. The gods. From the god Kiri Jolof in this case, but the true gods are there. They're waiting for us to reach back out to them. Mm-hmm. I see that now. The man immediately fucking faints. Just right back on the bed. As the nurse seems to have almost everything she has ever believed in. Shit. In regards to it. And she does for the sort of remainder of the day, everything is rather well the remainder of the night, everything is rather quite quiet. There is a, a buzz in regards to what you have done. As many people seem to be talking about this. As they are. As they are. The night does seem to Come to a close though. Everything winds down and everyone seems quite fine. To my understanding, you are staying in the camp tonight. Yes. Yeah. So, how's everyone else doing? You know, staying in the camp. Uh, gonna get ready for a. Uh... A new day at a new job. No, man. I'm going to make a pair of nunchucks. Make a pair of nunchucks. Where are you staying? The camp. Okay. Uh, Finn? Yeah? You, uh, but sorry. Is, there, uh, is everyone staying at the camp? It feels the best question to ask rather than single people out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What about Bren? Bren being the only one not initially from the camp. Where's Bren staying? Where's Bren staying? I said at the camp. Okay. Then, uh, if you all want to class it as a long rest. A long rest Boralus. If you need to take a long rest, that is. Um, why in the fuck does Boralus have five spell slots? Man should only have three. Mm 
Oh, no, I need to do the map on that one. Nice. Um. <clears throat> so. As you awake the next day. With your... Thoughts. Ah, you just make your way back towards the city, to the camp. Okay, this health is actually correct for a fucking change. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> I deleted something, it's like 40 health, and I'm like, oh, that's the tough feet fucking up. No, no, his health is now just correct. So, as it were, you just make your way once more into the town, ready to begin work with the military. So you just look round, you just don't see Darrett that day, that morning. And you just look around, you just make your way to the castle. The place is quiet. Almost eerily quiet, but you once more see the guard at the gate who just seems to nod before looking up as the gates are opened for you. As the Ari looks. You's aware of where you're going today. Uh -uh. Not yet. Follow me then. So you just walk with him. He takes you in through the castle. As he does. He looks. So familiarize yourself with this as you stand in the front foyer. The council and government have all their meetings here on the first floor. This staircase here behind me. See, go through the first map real quick now because I got stuff. Boom, 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 boom. That's the wrong one, Matthew. That's the right one. Shouldn't have named them all the same. Yeah, well, that's going to move all the tokens together, make it nice and easy for all of us. And the gridding is already fucked. Aha! I love it when the grids break for me. Z Gar kind of looks. Take these stairs up to the second floor. Military command office and lodgings are there. You will call this home. The third floor is where us guards. <laughs> Basicers have to lodge, and the fourth floor will take you to the towers. You will only really need these first two floors, and maybe the basement from every once in a while. Is he gonna take you up to the next building? Next, not building, next room. As he does, and because she doesn't have a token, I'm just gonna have to use a standard knight token. Just come to this small room. Beds in a circle. All around. As Marshal Verdi stands there. On her desk. On the desk with many things piled up. A board which is pinned with a map of the surrounding province of Nightland. She stands there. Thank you for coming. Uh, I won't mince my words here for you, as we are now beyond that point. We should speak only frankly with each other. Um, we are in darker dangers than we had let on. And I fear they are fast approaching our gates. <laughs> Your role will be to change that. But first, you may have some questions. 
and I feel I should answer them. Do you have any questions before we go further? Um. Will we be provided, uh, so she says force, forces are approaching the gates. She wants us to stop that. Yeah, I said, I said to the danger that is coming, she wants you to stop. Is there any word on how many was sent here from scouts? I feel you've gotten the wrong end of the stick there, my friend. There's not actually something approaching within three to five days. There is just an enemy that is essentially across the river, and therefore we are within range to potentially be attacked. No. It's not... It's not what you thought. I'm sorry. Any other questions? Mm, nope. Oh, That's for me. Mm. At least I <laughs> signed the contract to defend people. And you're telling me that in the end, I'm going to have to defend people. It's not surprising. You may want to have known about specifics. I don't know. I'm not you. I know what I know, and if you're happy to just take it on the basis that you will be doing this, then that is the basis that you will be doing things. And if that's what you're happy with, then I am more than happy. And she walks to the table and she does place a small stack of Calaman badges. Your rank will equate to that of a lieutenant. This is your proof. Sew it to yourselves or stick it in your pocket. It means something around the town, around the castle and to all of our forces. It means you are essentially lieutenants. And as such, you shall be given the proper reverie and the proper attitude towards that. If anyone steps out of line, you give them a direct order, and they do not follow it, you can proceed at your own discretion. You have these powers within the military. He says that we're able to give out lashings. Only when necessary, <laughs> if necessary. <laughs> Is that what you heard? <laughs> I didn't quite hear that. That's right. You make everything racist. Yeah. <laughs> Take a I just realized he does do that. <laughs> Terrible. You are expected to serve as a specialized sword dedicated to meeting the challenges that other troops cannot address. Your salary is paid in advance. And she drops little bags on the table. This is your first week's pay. You're just going to add five gold to your sheets. That's why I like five golds to Boralis for that much. And I will add five gold to this one. Bum, bum, bum. If you are in need of weaponry or armor then as long as it is mundane you are eligible to take it as needed for the purpose of the task at hand in any other time you would be expected to be as you are dress comfortably when you're in the streets dress regally for when you're in combat Several people from Vogler have offered to lend their aid, and I'm unsure how to use some of our more enthusiastic conscripts, but I'll work out those details. As for yourselves, 
I will bring up your. Uh, we'll bring up your details soon as well. As for now, feel free to take things in. As you look around this room, you can tell. Yesterday, this clearly was not a barracks. This room, you can tell, was potentially once a small ballroom. But now, these row, this row of pillars with sculptures and knotwork images of knights that support vaulted ceilings has been turned into a makeshift barracks. Light shines into the room through the tall windows facing the mountains to the south. One corner of the hall holds a collection of plain cots and empty chests and nearby in the centre is a wooden table raised somewhat 12 foot above it is the chandelier. These are your cots. Um, the chest there is yours, I would imagine. Uh, there would be no issue with stealing, as you have came here together freely as friends. Thanks. As you look around, Bryn, Renard, you note that within this room, the stonework and statues depict... Kiri Joloth, patron of the Salamic Knights of the Sword. The clerics of Kiri Joloth. That makes no sense because clerics haven't been found yet. Wait, he also mm, worships. He also worships Kiri Joloth. Joloth. Yeah. yeah. I had stated that pretty early on, but it'll be interesting. He was not with you, but he did actively go, hmm, interesting. I recall that. You know, this book takes place after that book. I don't think they found a cleric yet. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's D&D 5e, and they want to be all-inclusive. But yeah, <clears throat> he's noticed that the carvings of the statues are that of Kiri Joloth. As the women, Viet, but I was about to say Vienna, mm -hmm. but that's a different thing, yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something. No. This Vendry looks at yourself. Vendry. Yeah, uh, but see, yes, Vieri's from fucking Tavern of the Lost. This Vendry kind of looks at yourself. I'm acutely aware of the issue surrounding yourself, however. And she raises her hand to yourself there, Renard. Okay. You, bro you brought to us that you are a knight of Salamnia, and we obviously cannot afford the Knights of Salamnia or any of their help and yet here you are and we thank you for that that being said you have no ceremony you would to our knowledge be roughly in time to take your oath and with it, we have been granted that authority based off of what's going on and the information gleaned. You may pick your oath and go through that as opposed to working through the rankings as young Darrett and his former mentor did as you technically would now outrank Darrett. We have been given these permissions to allow you to take sword, crown or rose. 
It is your choice, but we will pass that back to the relevant authority. Uh, thank you. This, this is indeed uh, out of the ordinary, but uh, yes, I choose to enter the night of become the knight of the sword at this time. Very well. I will pass this information along. Take your level up, man. Ah. Alright. I'll get to you. I'll get to you. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm just impatient. Oh. It's as, as everything passes through this. You Is were that... saying earlier, I apologize for interrupting. Is that a feat and ASI, or is it just a feat? A feat and an ASI. You, the feat that you have to take, I hate saying you have to take things, but for yourself, when you select the feats, um, there is Knight of the Sword. Um, as the feat Knight of the Sword on our system. I say on our system here, like I'm at fucking work. <laughs> Uh, Knight of the Sword, uh, Wisdom or Charisma by one, and once per time you hit a creature with an attack roll, you can attempt to frighten it. Is the basis of that, but I'll take a look more at it. So yeah, uh, so you can take that, and your, yeah. So essentially, you're getting like a plus three here if you put it all in one. Yeah, that's uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, let me have that five gold. Are there any other questions for the time? Uh, or shall I leave you to settle in? That'll be all. Enough. Then enjoy your evening, your day, your morning. Word will arrive soon. And she leaves as you settle in. It's, this area is, for the most part, cosy. You're very close together and you have a lot to do. A lot to figure out. After few hours or so. You hear a sort of at your door. Alrighty oh, now, we're getting back into bed. One sec. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> Is it? Oh, dang it. What it says? I saw seven not so long ago. <laughs> Five. She open the door. See Darrett. Hello, Ooh. hi. Hello. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. Open the door. Hey there, Darrett. Hello. I'm I'm sort of curiosity. Have I even I have walled this, I just don't know if the walls are you seeing the whole map or just the wall the room you're in? I'm, I'm seeing, seeing the whole map. map. Put a guy in a cupboard for nothing. So why are you seeing... I didn't put token vision on, and I didn't put global illumination on, because I was clearly dropped as a child. Oh wow. That's a lot different. Changes things. But yeah. This Darrett comes in. Well, um... They've settled you nicely. Uh... So, tell me, uh, what have they done with yourselves? What the... They've given us quarters and they well, pretty much waiting uh, orders for an assignment. 
said if we have a mission, we can visit the quartermaster. Otherwise, I don't remember saying much. Oh, How are you faring? I've just spent all morning demonstrating my training. It's fun. <laughs> um, they've <laughs> given me a position of mentorship. I'm. <laughs> I've walked out of training, and I, I'm to train the new recruits. Like, it's a little over, a little overwhelming. I. Yesterday, I was the trainee. <laughs> I'm also here to deliver. I'm also here to deliver some rather fun news. Um, I'm your liaison. I report to Vendry, and then report to you. As in, she tells me what to tell you, and then you just go ahead and do it. I, Interesting. Yeah. Uh, now the, I am not your commander. That's perfectly. Clear. I am not your commander. Um, I will, however, advocate for you on any circumstance that needs to be made. I am essentially just her mouthpiece to pass it down, and busy, busy, busy. I. We'll see a lot more of you, and I am genuinely thankful that we are friends. And we will continue to work together now. Uh, so, yeah. Um, you, I use our mentors to me in ways that I thought I could never be to anyone, and now I need to mentor people, and uh, crazy times. Crazy times. Mm. If you need any advice, I'm here for you. Feel free to ask. I think I'm going to need more than advice. <laughs> I start training new people tomorrow. All the new Vogler conscripts would be nice for them to know a familiar face. Yeah. Real familiar. Oh, he's Ooh. changed. Uh, so, yes, uh, firstly, I want to thank you, uh, and I do hope I can lean on you for any help that I have. I will need the time. <laughs> you know more about the knights than me. You know more about military than me. And I... Do hope that through all of this we can maintain an earnest and honest friendship and be friends before we are colleagues. As it was two days ago, funnily enough. <laughs> Absolutely. I am here to help you succeed. Well. You are well-deserved of any honors that you've been given and I'm sure you will make the best of this assignment and uh, the people of Volgler that you train will be better for it. Thank you. Well, I must go. Uh, I shall hopefully see you tomorrow. Um, until then, um, I have been told to tell you the day is yours. I wish the day was mine. <laughs> what is he gonna walk? Say, he's gonna nod as he closes the door. And now, um, I must ask: Is there? Any... I know there's been a weird amount of weird downtime. Is there anything you wish to do in this today, or would you just like to go to the next day? Um. Uh armor and healing supplies or are we doing the armor after we get the mission you get the armor after you get like after you get the mission if you don't have a mission you wear whatever you were wearing all right yeah all right 
You're good. Uh, I'm good. So, yeah, I'm skip. Mm -hmm. I need water. Then, fun fact the next day, bright and early, you can hear the hurried footsteps in the hallway, which is are there in bed. As your door you know, comes open once more. As you see once more, dar it. See? Back. Up. Orders. Also, good morning. Morning, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. Is he holding his hand? A letter. Why would you bring that disgusting thing here? You know I can't read. <laughs> I'll read it. I'll read it to you. Sit down, lad. We'll have a story. I could read, but go, for all intents and purposes, go ahead. <laughs> your, your orders from Marshal Vendry. We have. Heard too. Oh, yeah. We, the leadership, have heard of disturbing rumours about a dragon-like invention that the dragon army deployed in Vogler. Um, <laughs> just kind of looks at it and looks at you. All too well. Um, <laughs> running with that little device. <laughs> They want to know more about it. <laughs> Sorry. They're trying to mass produce and make an arms race. Um, they they don't want your story though. Um, I regaled that from what I saw. And yeah, worry not. That being they want said, know how it's made. That being said, twelve miles south of Calaman. Twelve miles south of Calaman. Uh, Hold your fucking uh, horses. <laughs> Twelve Calaman south of Mile. I'm gonna heart people in a minute. Twelve uh, south Calaman. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, I was mis I was misremembering something. I'm like, gnomes don't no halflings don't exist. Gnomes exist. <laughs> gnomes exist. So confused. I was like, are now Dan's a one off. But yeah, 12 miles south of Calaman lives a gnome inventor named Tatina Ruckeldust. Tatina? Um, tat N A. Oh, that's what I did. R O K L E D U S T. There you go. Use it to go there and see if she knows anything about this device or similar. Even if she knows nothing, we would still like to meet with her, bring her back to the city. We would like to recruit her as an advisor. <laughs> I will not be joining you on this mission. However, you have my best luck, my best regards. I've got some training to do. Oh. See, he kind of folds up the letter and hands it to yourself in as you are next to him. Thank you. Use R2 head out before noon. 12 miles is about a day and a half's worth of it travel. So you should technically he's gonna ride mm. on horseback or foot 
a day on horseback. It's a day and a half on foot. That means I can get there in a day. You can get there in an hour or two. You're like, <laughs> How many levels of exhaustion would it take? <laughs> None, because I run that fast. He fucking does. I jog that fast. That's not even spring yet. Fucking monkeys get 60 movement. Mm. You took the mobile feet as well, didn't you? Mm hmm. This man has just made half of his key points flurry of blow points. <laughs> oh, I, can, I can just get in real close. Flurry of blows. <laughs> and just walk away. Walk away 40 feet. They try to get to me. Flurry of blows. Walk away 40 feet. Flurry of blows is a bonus action. So you can it is. That yeah, so you can only flurry of blows once. Yeah. I'm just waiting until okay. that second attack comes in. So he hands you it. Provisions will be made. You may seek the quartermaster as needed. You have about four hours to be gone. I bid you a farewell. And he leaves the room. Oh. Leaving you as to be. With a mission in hand. And with things to be done. Pick us up next week. Alrighty. Okay.